Yeah, but this is cool, dude. I like the little lights. Like, I'm trying to figure out right now, like, what I'm going to do as mm -hmm. far as once I have the room again and I can set up the studio. Like, I'm trying to do it differently. I don't want to have the exact same setup. Like, I have, we have our little logo mm -hmm. in the middle, but after that, I want to change a little, it a little bit. Like, shape, either yeah. different colors or just a different structure to the whole thing. Mm. Um, the futon that we had for, like, the last fucking two years, like, it was trash, <laughs> dude. Like, you sit on it and it's like, <laughs> I fucking he's hated it. He's dude. like, you sure you don't want to lay down? No, no I'm positive, dude, bro. Like, and then I'm like getting to. off of it, like at the end, you're like, Shh, and, like it's <laughs> making a chingo of like like noise. You know, it's annoying as shit. You're, so, making, like, a, you're making a soup out of alcohol. Yeah, dude. Like so, I mean, that's just what we had to work with. Like right now, like I really want to get either like a like a pullout couch or. Or like some chairs, just to make it like different vibe, you know. Facebook would yeah. be your best friend, bro. Oh, <laughs> All yeah. that free shit. Oh, for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or big lots, big lots. Yeah, that's actually where I bought my couch. Yeah, yeah. Big lots. this is where I bought yeah. these too. It's very, it's very <laughs> underrated, dude. Like, it big is. Lots. You think you should buy cereal there, but no, they have like full. <laughs> oh, I've never bought, I've never bought cereal, cereal there. Either. <laughs> I don't know, like, because it's, it's like a general store, like yeah. you know, a bunch of yeah. shit. Yeah, so. I don't know, but it's yeah. like it's like if Cost Plus sold furniture yeah, and shit. for real, bro. Uh, Air rods. Yeah. Well, they do Cost Plus. Costco sells furniture. Oh no, that's uh, that kind of city. I'm thinking Costco. I don't know. What <laughs> yeah, I don't. Know. I think you can think Costco. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure they got a whole ass. I was like, oh, I know. House in there. Got in there. <laughs> yeah. Damn, we haven't even like clapped in or anything, bro. But nah, I'm, bro, I'm gonna this, keep it. Yeah, this I'm part keep of the it. intro. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. But um, <laughs> what's up, everybody? Welcome back to oh. another episode of Los Osos oh. Golosos <laughs> podcast. I'm gonna start off strong. Shit. And then uh, <laughs> finally, last but, uh, episode. Right, last episode. I know, bro. The last two I've been stuttering, bro. Uh, I am your hostess with the mostest, El Mero Mero Don Juan. Uh, to my far right, I got the one and only, the bodacious, El Bombon Asesino. <laughs> El Osito Mas Bonito. There you go. Grizzly. And then to my right, I got this. But you skipped Sammy, bro. I, I know. I'm, I'm, oh. I'm going to walk him in. It's on purpose, purpose bro. Got you. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. And then to my right again. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the f Interrupting himself. <laughs> is yeah. this fucking What's different. up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back with Droopy. A droopy ghost? No more, no more ghost. Droopy nuts nah, I'm still a ghost. You're converting? <laughs> <laughs> converting into droopyanity? No more ghosts, yeah. it's just droopy? <laughs> well, today we have a, uh, a good friend of mine, a longtime friend of mine, uh, host mm. of the Charro Bean podcast, uh, Sammy. Hey, how you guys doing? Oh, no, you gotta restart it, bro. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta oh, put some energy yeah, into you gotta, it. Bro. You're a character today, bro. Yeah. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> you can be whatever you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> can I be better? I don't know. Just <laughs> can I be? Not I think myself? we all can be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, my name is Sammy. So yeah, I'm a co-host of uh, Chatter Beans podcast. Uh, I do it with uh, my friend Victor, who is. A, uh, MIA, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, we have a little podcast and uh, we talk about mariachi and stuff like that. But yeah, Juan reached out to me. We've known each other for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, a yeah, long yeah. time. Like, I bet you like freshman year of yeah, college. Like, yeah, like straight off the boat, really. Because like, <laughs> it was uh, uh, like, we, we saw we stayed in the same dorm, but we realized quickly, I'm like, wait, you're from Fort Worth too, you know? Like yeah, just yeah, I remember be that. Yeah. Because no one spoke Spanish. Yeah. That was the reason why we like knew each other. Because We're in no college? one in my in yeah. my dorm room. And <laughs> no. pretty much all of San Marcos. Like the majority of people didn't speak Spanish. Yeah. And, and San Marcos. And San Marcos. San Marcos. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, they just heard Primo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Wait. No, I saw the word Juan and I was like, oh, right. <laughs> I was like, oh he knows Spanish. Yeah. 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 He's like, yeah. I bet she's from Fort Worth. <laughs> I walk, by, I walk by the dorm and it's more like, let me try kind of and shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Like, like a yeah. meat market in there? <laughs> so it's like the, the red salsa. Kind of yeah. Yeah. He's like, you from Fort Worth, right? Yeah. And Juan's like, how you know? No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going. I don't I know. Going. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, yeah, like when I met this guy, it was around that time. Like, And then you were you in honors? Uh, Is that dude, why you were there? So no, I <laughs> was. Uh, I, I did not realize it was Honors College. Me neither. Me neither. Yeah, yeah. And, like in the so like <laughs> the the way we found out is that the majority of people were like that weren't in Honors College, which you know kind of obviously not A plus students yeah. were at the bottom level. Yeah, you said like, not, <laughs> the, the basement. You said like, not Asian. No, yeah, no, no. no like there was, was like mostly weirdos and oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, no, and, dude, and any, a lot of Asians. Like 
any college the that turrets? says that the they turrets? Have... <laughs> oh, I, I saw that. I, saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I see you call them, bro. Yeah. <laughs> because of tourists, bro. <laughs> I'm never going to live that down, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but he's right. Like, yeah. I think when we signed up for, when I went to, like, orientation and shit yeah. like that, I mean, I went out there just to see, um, like, what place looked kind of good. Like, I mean, it's first time out of Fort Worth and Pretty shit like much, that. Yeah. I went out there. I liked that hall, Laurel Hall. Like yeah. it, it looked pretty nice from the outside. Yeah. The inside looked pretty. You know, it, look, it looked dope. So I mean, we we went in and actually like just picked it because I said like pick where you want to live. Another like, oh, yeah. same year. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the same thing. I just clicked and that one. It wasn't until really? after that we realized that it was for the honors kids. Yeah. So they put anybody oh, who's oh, not my, honors my, like in the I fucking basement. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a huge gap, bro. Like cause, the Titanic. Yeah, because <laughs> you see the people who always consistently wanted to do shit and get yeah. rowdy. Amaro Bajo. Yeah. yeah. You know, and the, and the second level where I, I stayed at, which I wasn't in honors either, but for some reason they put me on that one. Yeah. yeah like yeah. all of them were just kind of quiet and they, they just didn't really like do anything. Yeah. yeah some like, like, real, <laughs> like real calculator ass people. You yeah. Know? Yes, like, fucking, up, yeah. Like, and then what I fucking hated about like living there was that everybody was just, I don't know if you noticed, everybody was either like a theater student yeah. or like a music student. Yeah. And I've, and I've done music my whole life, yeah. but I fucking hated these people. Dude. I know who he's talking about, it's too. It's fucking annoying. I like, know who he's talking about. Like, we're just walking by, like, the fucking lobby, and you just hear someone like, oh, oh, oh. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here, bro? Like, yeah. it was annoying as shit, dude. It's just warming like a their fucking there, was this, uh, there was this, uh, there was this one chick, uh, it's like... <laughs> I forgot what her name There's is. There's multiple chicks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they, so yeah. what, they would, what chick. they would do is go to the bottom of the staircase where it had like a big uh, ass uh, like a lot of acoustics. Yeah, yeah. acoustics. And they would yeah. just resonate through all four floors, bro. Because oh, that's yeah. the only way to connect all four floors. Yeah. And they would sing there loud as fuck. Like, Shut loud the fuck up. Fucking yeah. one in the morning, you don't have type shit. Like, <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> annoying, dude. Like, did they ever do the Halo theme? <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure they did. I just. Oh, yeah. damn. But I just I remember She's I just magic. like the, the oh, hall itself was was cool you know like yeah. I actually met a lot of cool people around there, yeah like, yeah him included you know like there was a lot of people that he ain't cool bro. <laughs> he's like oh just because he's right yeah <laughs> I, I mean at the time you yeah know, like, <laughs> I met I met a lot more people after that yeah know? okay no. <laughs> I'm glad you did bro. yeah no but like we started off okay yeah and then it got better <laughs> no, but, but like it's funny just because like that that hall wasn't made for us you know it yeah. was made for smart people yeah and I I know myself yeah you know, and, and I know I'm not smart for so. people. Though, like, said, no. yeah, I, so. I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say you're not smart. I don't, I just academically, you didn't do like good enough to be in the yeah. honors hall That's not because smart. I don't think, I, I mean, a lot of the people there were pretty stupid. <laughs> like, I'm saying, like, if there was a test to get in yeah. there, I would have failed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. <laughs> what's, oh, okay. what's more insulting, saying big words to insult you or saying just little words to insult you? Big words in general don't don't have an effect on me. Like Kevin Hart? <laughs> like, yeah. like, I don't know what you're saying, so I'm going to yeah. take it offensively. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I'm going to take my disrespect. Like, so watch your mouth. Yeah. Like, do you have like a synonym to that word, yeah, bro? Because you're I'm, it not resonating. You use another it? bigger word. Like, I need need you to dumb it down. <laughs> Can you say it in Spanish for me? <laughs> That's me right there, yeah. No, but he's right. Like, uh, um, I mean, when like I went to Texas State thinking that it was like, I mean, don't get me wrong. There, it is diverse. Like, I think they do have a lot of diversity in the school in general. Like, there wasn't that many like Mexicans, especially mm-hmm. from Fort Worth and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> Everybody in Texas State is from fucking Houston, yeah, or San Antonio, or, yeah, or San Antonio. So everybody's got like their humor from over there. So you know, when he told me he lived, I mean, you were like from South Fort, right? Yeah, like, yeah. South Side. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I was like, okay, well, like we're from the North Side, you know. So yeah. like, you know, we're very close. Yeah. So I mean, it was it was dope because like. You didn't really see that around there. You don't. You didn't no. see a lot of people that. Yeah, were our, our schools like were, you. were rivals in soccer. So. Yeah, were they? South Hills and and uh, and. Uh, At the end of every game, they would start yeah. kissing each other. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was about to say. I, don't I, hate, that. I hate you. <laughs> oh, you weren't there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> good game, good that game. was after I got <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah, you wouldn't know. No, no but yeah, no, for sure. It, I mean, it was just cool because like it, it just gave you like a. Uh, like okay, this is a little bit like home, you know, because mm-hmm. I mean, you go to like school and shit like that. Everybody there is like different and white, you yeah. know. So pretty not that much. there's wrong anything wrong with that, but it's just like it it's a big bright. culture it's shock. A, yeah. Exactly, a culture huge shock. culture shock. Yeah, just like where the fuck is a hot sauce the whole time? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure, bro. Like everywhere that you went, like just didn't feel like where you. Were. I mean, when you're used to this, like you you've been in Fort Worth all your life, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. 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 So you go down there, and it's like it, it really is different. And that's considering, I mean, my, like, my wife, like, she went to Texas A&M. Yeah. So, like, San Marcos was, like, diverse, 
But College Station was, mm-hmm. bro. Like, <laughs> walk up in there, a bunch of Travis's everywhere. Yeah, yeah Chaz. Bunch corn, of Chads. Bunch of corn fed dudes. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, like it's. Big old it, buff motherfucker. Yeah, dude. I mean, dude, I'm like, I mean, you saw me right now. I'm like five, six on a good day. Bro, you know? you're sexy, bro. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married, but yeah. He's over there, <laughs> he's over there blushing. She's, well, she's a lucky woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but like uh, over there, man, everybody just looks like a giant. Like, it, like Bro, for real, yeah. I mean, but yeah. you're taller than me, so yeah. I mean, you got. But even not by much like that yeah. like because you know walking in like my the majority of my high school was about average size like my height For six sure. foot at the most yeah, yeah. And then you go to like when you go to that school and you you meet like six foot eight people oh For six sure. foot yeah. seven yeah my uh one of my fraternity brothers was six nine like Six my nine? parents six was nine. out there. Yeah, six nine exactly. <laughs> yeah, tattoos. I'm telling you. I'm But uh, <laughs> exactly, bro. Like, damn, bro. I didn't know he was that into education. <laughs> That's fucking and when one time my parents went to visit, and it was the first time I I think I've ever seen them have to look up to someone like like. Oh yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> just, sure. I was like, damn. They're, bro. they're talking to their belly yeah. button. And shit. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. yeah, man. It's it's it really is like. Um, Almost to the point where you're like, do I belong here? Like, mm. am I supposed to even, like, I feel like none of us are supposed to go to school in a way. Like, that's how that's really how it felt like for a little bit. Yeah. Um. I mean, you get adjusted to it, but like for sure, like anytime you're walking to class and shit, like you're just like, damn, bro. Like, I don't feel like I'm supposed to be here. Like, everybody here's old as fuck or like tall as fuck. Or, yeah. You be in like, and then especially me, like in general, like the way I talk isn't really proper. Mm. And so I mean, when I like talk to someone, like. Someone who has no accent whatsoever, like you feel like, like really like the, like a stereotype Huge. sometimes. You're like <laughs> shit, man. Like I feel like I'm talking all like mocho in Spanish and in English. Like <laughs> you don't fit in anywhere. Like it's it's really wild. Like to go through that shit. So I mean, it was cool. Like to meet him. Yeah. And like other people that you know that were very similar. I mean, obviously I ended up playing in, in the mariachi too. So then I met more people like me. I'm like, oh shit, like they exist. Like yeah. they yeah, exist yeah. out yeah. here. Like, so how did, how was your transition from? Because you you've been in mariachi for how long? God damn. Um, a middle long school? time. Yeah, I mean, I started I started in middle school. I started playing actual music and well, mariachi. It wasn't until like eighth grade that I started playing mariachi like seriously. Mm-hmm. And then I started professionally like in 10th grade. So maybe 2009, 2010. Mm-hmm. So at this point, it's been over 10 years, you know, that I've been yeah. playing yeah. professionally, you know, outside of school. Yeah. Uh, like for money, you know. So uh, it's been like a, it's been a long time that I've done it. But I mean, it's still like a thing that like you don't you never get like. Um, you never feel like you know everything. Like yeah. with music, you're you're continually doing it over and over and over again, and sometimes you feel dumb as hell. Like at a gig, you're like, damn, I don't fucking know this song or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you know, there's just so much out yeah. there. Yeah, and you think you think you're hot shit, and then you play with someone who's like ten times better than you, and it's like, god damn, like I ain't shit, bro. Like, yeah, it, it's, it really is like it that, humbles you, know? you and shit. No, it really yeah. does. But um, and it keeps you busy. Um, and that's kind of why we started the podcast because it was like a. It was just an idea. I mean, you guys kind of started around the pandemic as well, right? Yeah. Pretty yeah, much, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, so, like, that was kind of the idea. Like, it's because Mariachi is... A lot of people, like, I guess, like, you guys, you guys see a Mariachi from the outside because you guys would be, like, the ones that hire us. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. So, you guys would be calling a Mariachi to be like, okay, this is the Mariachi. How much, and and you, only, you only see it from the outside. Yeah. So, the whole idea behind the, the, the podcast was always like, okay, well... The only people that know what happens in a mariachi are the people that are in a mariachi. Mm-hmm. So, cool. like, we we always had this thought, like, to do something, ended up being a podcast where we we could talk about it. And like, I compared it a lot to like where soldiers talk about like war stories. Like, yeah, they were because <laughs> they were there. They're the only ones that experienced it. The only people that would know about it would be if they talked to each other about yeah. it. Yeah, right. And the only way you guys find out is like if we tell you, mm-hmm. right? So that that's kind of what the idea it's was like a bridge. The, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that way you guys could hear. Um, and, and it was also for the mariachi community because that's literally what people do. Like, uh, I always say that the mariachi community is so huge, but it's also very small. Like, you'll meet one guy who knows this guy, who knows that guy. I'm like, oh, okay, so now I know you. Yeah. And it's all connected like a damn web, you know. How does uh, how does your podcast help with that? Like, have you connected with a lot of people? Oh yeah, man, for sure. Like just um, Texas or? Oh no, man. Like <clears throat> it's it like when we first started, that's kind of what the idea was, you know, just to put it out there. We never had an intention to like really. Uh, I guess you could say, like, to make money or anything yeah. off of it. It was more like just to put it out there and see what happens, you know. And, and we yeah. put it out. And then uh, little by little, like, the, the community started growing as far as them following us or, like, finding out about us. And uh, after that, like, I got to the point where, like, people know us from the podcast. So then, like, like I'll just be walking around or, like, uh, or someone will message me, like, hey, you're that guy from that thing. I'm like, 
yeah, I guess. Yeah, you know, so. Uh, what but, thing? Sure, whatever, dude. Yeah, and it gets to that point, like, where, you know, we'll go to a gig or something like that, and someone will be like, hey, so how's the podcast? And I'm like, who, who the fuck are you? Like, yeah. You know, and, and, they all, and it's like, I never see. Yeah, you, like, I'm like, I don't know who this guy is, but he knows who we are. You yeah. know? So it, it just got to that point. Like, just recently, I remember I told you I went to this conference in Albuquerque yeah, that yeah. they have every year. Um, and it's it's more like a, a you think conference and you think it's like a business meeting or something like that. No, it's like a it's like a place where people go and they play and they meet a bunch of people and it's really cool. And I've been there before. I've been in like eight years since I've been there. Damn. And like uh, when we got there, well, I, I I was the only one that went, but like so many people just came up to me and they're like, hey, like can I take a picture with you and stuff like that. <laughs> and it just felt like really cool because. Not even because they didn't want to just take a picture. Like they were like telling me like stuff we've talked about and, yeah. and like things There's like to the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like it was just cool because it's like, damn, like it, not only like do they just like know who I am, but they also like listen because they're like yeah, telling me like, oh, like, yeah, when you said this shit and this shit, that shit was hilarious. I'm like, oh, OK, like, you know, like you listen, yeah. you know, that's, that's yeah. really cool. That's my biggest fear. They're like, you remember when you said this? Like, no. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I mean, we try not to go overboard or anything. Yeah. Because yeah, I mean, at the same time, like. Uh, like I know who <laughs> the age ranges that are yeah. listening, you know. I mean, we we do cut. I mean, we can we can cuss on here, right? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, shit, fuck pussy. All right, yeah, there you go. go. Yeah, there you go, yeah, buddy. So, but like on, on ours, we do He's too. Like, darn, darn. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, like on there, we talk too because I mean, we try to be ourselves. Like at yeah. the end of the day, like I'm not gonna change who I am just because like this podcast goes out to whoever. Like mm -hmm. people need to understand that we're real people too, and exactly, I think that's what yeah. they like. You know, like yep. Dude, the, the 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 CEO that's the top of the company talks the same way as you and me. Yeah. Except obviously it's all about image. So it's yeah. he presents himself to this person, that person as like the professional. But yeah. you know how they are. You yeah. know what I mean? Hell yeah. So like I do the same thing there. I'm like, if this is how I talk and this is how I am, yeah. then I'm, why the fuck would I not be like that on my podcast? I yeah. Mean, it's just how it is. And I think that's like the biggest thing for podcasts is that like, it's an open conversation. Like yeah. For us, it's because we don't. You at least have like a, a genre, that. right? You, like a, you, you like base a theme, a theme exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We we kind of don't. Ours yeah. is kind of like comedy based. Yeah. But we kind of go overboard all over the place, and that's what kind of drives us. Yeah. And yeah. and pushes our narrative, which we can kind of like love and enjoy more. No, yeah, for and, sure. And, 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 You'll uh, see that shit later on. And, and so I think that's. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm gonna experience. I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get shit on by a lot of people. Right? Like, <laughs> but uh, so when it comes down to like <laughs> podcasting, I think that's a natural version of it. You no, know? yeah, for and that's sure. what people want either way. Yeah, it's because at the end of the day, it's like you said, it's a conversation. Mm -hmm. Like you're just you guys are three friends got together and then you guys talk about it. If you have good enough conversations, people are like, these guys are cool guys. Like I like how they are. I like that they're authentic, and and the, usually that's what people draw. Uh, uh, what I've seen yeah. is that's what people end up like uh, liking, because now they're, they're the way that you guys talk here would be the same way if you guys were to talk to them in person. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, I, and, yeah. and like that's why when you meet someone, you're like, oh shit, they're like, oh, you're just like on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that that's me. That's, you know, that's, exactly. that's, that's us. Yeah, that's us. yeah. yeah. So yeah. So I talk that's, everywhere. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. Don't so I, me no or or you or in Eliza's case, you don't. Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I <laughs> don't show up at all, bro. <laughs> I don't show up anywhere, bro. I talk, bro. If you want to listen, I'll talk to you. Yeah. Exactly. You could call me, but I won't answer the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as I no. hear, as soon as I see one little expression, like I'm like, nah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Just walk away. My love, you, bless. My love, you, bless. No, yeah, that's that's kind of the idea behind it, and just because Mariachi's always been like, when you think about it, you've always, I mean, someone from the outside looking in, like you guys are. You guys see mariachis are old dudes or like the guy with the mustache, you know, yeah. big ass belly, you know, just out there <laughs> singing whatever, you know. It's just a stereotypical yeah. mariachi. It's, just, it's a stereotype. Yeah. You're drawing and I, them right now, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you tell me, I tell you to draw a mariachi, you know what you're going to draw. Yeah. You I'm know, thinking about the guy from San Luis Potos, the little taqueria. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the logo. There you go, you know. Oh, the guy in the tapatio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, and so the, so the stereotype is there, and, yeah. I, and I've and I've told that to my students, you know, my because I teach mariachi. Yeah. So yeah. I tell them to them like we're always fighting a stereotype, no matter what it is that we do. So I mean, you got to think about it. That in, the, I mean, I'm I'm 27 right now. I'm mm -hmm. 27 years old, oh, so and same. all this uh, I feel like the old one in the mariachi world because every year like the new generation is coming up and they don't yeah, look yeah. like your average mariachi. Like yeah. everybody that listens to the podcast is like a different generation of mariachi. And like anytime you probably hire a mariachi nowadays, you're going to see someone who's like 15, 16 years old. Yeah. yeah All I've of them are sure. young, bro. And yeah. they have talent, talent which is crazy. Fuck, yeah. mm -hmm. Like they, they be actually studying, not like me, you know, but they be studying music, you yeah. know, and they, and they, they know their shit. 
So, I mean, we're, we're constantly kind of fighting that. So you have to kind of branch out. And it's, and it's a thing that's in the mariachi community that it's like, no, you know, like, fuck these kids. And, like, we're, we're the, <laughs> yeah. dude, like, for we're real. the OGs. Yeah, we're the OGs. This is how it should be. But, I'm, but like I'm like, back in my day. Yeah, yeah it, it really is, yeah, man. And, and that's why, like, when we. When all the old we, heads are like that, right? Yeah, there's, yeah. The, and like, in anything, there's old heads, you know. Yeah. And, and that's why when we first started the podcast, I was scared. I even told my partner, like. I was like, dude, I don't know like how people are going to receive this, you know, because the only people that know what happens in mariachi oh, are mariachis, mm-hmm. yeah. you know. So like, we're opening it up to like people like you guys or like someone who's just like, well, what the fuck happens in a mariachi? So let me listen to it, you know. Yeah. So when they start listening to it, and they're like, damn, like I didn't even know that all this shit happens, and it's some crazy shit sometimes, yeah, dude, yeah. or it's some like funny shit yeah. or some scary shit, like you know. It, I, w- it, I want to get deep into that. Man. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> no, man, like it, 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 it can get like that, and that's why we're we're trying to be like very. I've had so many people that are on the young side that because uh, we on our podcast we have people ask us questions. Yeah, and a lot of those questions like, hey, like what's it like to be in a real group? I'm like, dude, just listen to the podcast because like honestly, like we talk about everything that actually happens, like you know. How some bosses out here be stealing money, you know, like and you're oh, young. That's everywhere, yeah. bro. You're you're, you're <laughs> a young kid. You just started playing, you know. You you play the hour, you know. Someone gives you forty bucks, you're like, fuck yeah, forty bucks, like hell yeah. Yeah. But this dude's making like a hundred off your ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like you have to you have to be ready for this kind of shit because if not, I mean. You're getting fucked over and you have no idea, you yeah. know. But all, like, all the bosses are going to beat you up and some shit. Be, yeah. be Where are you giving them all yeah. secrets? <laughs> be ready to be finessed. Yeah, yeah. dude. No, so that, that was the idea behind it. Like, put it out there. See see who would be into it and listen to it. And then, like, just see what the response is. And late, lately, I mean, f- since then, it's it's been great, you know. That's good. A lot yeah. of people listening and watching. Yeah. Ever since we we did, started doing video as well. but So you get more listeners or watchers? Um, I t- I'd say it's pretty balanced, honestly. Mm. Um, we get we get listeners on. Uh, well, I don't know how you guys do it, you know, but uh, we have like a thing that kind of gives you like the listens and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we um, have like, yeah. with yeah. like Apple Podcasts and Google and mm-hmm. uh, and Spotify. On oh, and then yeah. obviously you can look it up on YouTube because it tells you how many views you get. You yeah. know, but they're pretty they're pretty matched. I think. Like in general, we get maybe like two over two hundred listens per episode. Yeah, Damn. you know, that's you know, good. yeah, that's, that's, that's like really good. That's yeah, really good, and then like on on online, it's at least a hundred, at least. Yeah, and then like after that, like uh, like the older episodes are probably like at two three hundred, you know, depending. But yep. you know, people. I like to think that a lot of people are discovering it now, fucking two years later. But yeah. like, at least that's how it is, bro. Yeah, yeah. It, it takes time, and, and honestly, I've just noticed that it's it's a consistency thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People won't like the shit right then and there, but then you realize later that they're watching the shit. That's like the that. first thing yeah. we tell mm-hmm. people is like, don't yeah. start off with episode one, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. <laughs> yeah, which are maybe episode four, but yeah. like episode one through th- yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. three, don't do it. I was like, don't start don't with the it. videos, and then we're getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. and then be like, let me see how they started, and then you can watch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The only thing I feel bad about not bad about but like the very <laughs> first episode i remember like like i said we were just throwing it out there we we're seeing yeah. you know our very uh our very first like little intro was like uh we we talk about porn in the yeah. very first one <laughs> and i'm like shit like not thinking about it like all these people that listen to like if they go to the pilot i'm yeah. like god damn like, it's the first thing we talk about porn yeah, like I yeah, think we were on the that's same. That's what the people want. Yeah, exactly. that's what the people yeah. need. Oh, wow. Not, I mean, if you look up mariachi <laughs> podcast, the first episode is talking about porn. You'd probably be like, <laughs> "All right, yeah, I can get down." They were the, <laughs> they were the ones playing you know, in the background with the yeah, porn going. I'm on. interested. Yeah. No, but yeah, <laughs> in no, order they can play so fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I wish there was a video, but <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, for real, no. But other than that, man, it's it's been good, and 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 it's good because like I have a partner that that does it with me, and like it's funny because he was like. He's always been like the quietest dude. Yeah, the quietest fucking mm-hmm. dude. And like, he, and then the other thing was that he speaks English, but it's very like he's from Mexico, yeah. right? So yeah. he has a the he accent. has a accent, a heavy yeah. accent, heavy accent. <laughs> so like when I'm talking, you know, I'm trying to sound official. Yeah, put it out there. Like a lot of people would be like, I can't fucking hear him. I'm like, well, fucking turn it up. Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah. like, you know. But like that's how he talks. But yeah. he's fucking hilarious, dude. He's a hel- like honestly, I couldn't do it without him. Because like me, I could only talk so much, and then Absolutely. like, yeah. I need him to like fill in those cracks. Because that's mean, how we all are too. Because yeah. we're all like, we're all talking, and we'll just bounce off each other's like yeah. whatever we're Real saying. Real quick, no, yeah. I really I, when I had the idea, like I, I told him about it, and he was like, "Bro, like me, like no no one understands me." I'm like, I mean, I can, you know, take some time, but I, I can yeah. understand. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I just told him like, you know, let's do it, let's let's see how it, how it is, and honestly, it's been it's been, it's been really cool. Just yeah. because I mean, we haven't branched out too much. Like I told him, like we. Uh, we work Friday, mm-hmm. Thursday through Sunday, like as a mariachi. So yeah, like yeah. we're 
constantly in in playing in, in places and, and and venues and events and driving yeah. and shit. so yeah and driving you know so it's it's yeah. it's hard to keep up with like the other side the whole marketing but what i've liked is that a lot of people have been discovering it on their own you know and just kind of following us from there mm -hmm. you oh, know yeah. and I, I haven't had to do much other than the, the little marketing that i've done you know yeah but, but yeah. I, was, I was telling them i, I think out of anyone that I've that here locally, I think you have the best clips. The I think clips. you do the best clips <laughs> yeah. because like yeah, I've seen the cover. I was like, damn, okay, yeah, yeah because network. a lot of other people they have okay clips, but yeah. the fact that you know, I think you have stupendous like cutting, like you know when to drop in yeah. a, like a, a meme yeah. or a clip, yeah. like, or or you do memes on the spot. I'm like, god yeah. damn it, dude, this shit's hilarious. Bro. I think what it is is I told my <laughs> I've told my wife this so much. Like I, I've been trying to get like uh, teacher certified for the longest and. I have this stupid memory that, like, I remember the stupidest shit, <laughs> and my brain is just full of all of that. Yeah. So any new information is, like, trying to get in, but it doesn't work, you know? Like, <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. Like, you, you say one thing, and I'll relate it to a meme like exactly, that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or I'll relate it to, like, a clip in a movie like that. And then, like, you tell me to, okay, listen, uh, what's, what's that, the Pythagorean theorem? I don't, yeah. What the fuck is that? You know, so, like, I already <laughs> forgot all that shit, but yeah. I remembered everything else. So that's what it's been. But I mean, it's it's trial and error. Like when I started doing all those clips and shit like that, it takes a while. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like find something funny, cut it, make it understandable, put some subtitles. Oh, that's the other thing. Like to yeah. put the subtitles, I have this thing that like kind of listens to it and then it, it, it auto generates, like, auto generates. Yeah. But I have to like fix Victor, my, my, other, my partner's <laughs> yeah. <with> Victor. <laughs> Like mine sounds clear, right? Like yeah. everything, maybe a word or here, uh, a it's word like, or ah, here. Yeah. yeah, and then when it comes to Victor, oh, fuck, I gotta rewrite the whole fucking script. Goddamn, that's only that it takes yeah. a while. But uh, other than that, yeah, I try to make them like I said it. I want to make it to where people like you guys would understand, and then especially mariachi people would all yeah. understand because mm -hmm. obviously they've been in that world. But you guys that haven't, you guys could see it from the outside and be like, oh, that's kind of funny, like you know. And that's that's been the idea the whole the whole time. But that's pretty badass. Right? It's 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 been cool and it's been it's all been trial and error, bro. Like it's like when I told you, like like I I just had an interface, started recording, and went from there. And then the the video, like I, I looked into ways, like all of it has just been me, like YouTube, and mm -hmm. just trying to like find yeah, a way to yeah. do it. Because man, luckily I, I was telling these guys like watching you do it, man, yeah. inspired me to finally get into it. Yeah, and uh, and and I told these guys because they had told me that they wanted to start one, so yeah. I was like. Man, like it, it just kept all came together because yeah. of like just inspiration and yeah. then you know the drive and the wanting to do it and then just kind of the backing to do it too. To yeah, be honest. I think it was like perfect timing because yeah. whenever we first brought it up, is Juan like he was like around my area. I was like, hey man, let's let's go out to eat, and I was like, all right, fuck it. Yeah. And then we we're talking about how we just listened to podcasts, and I was like, you know what, yeah. me and Eli has been trying to like start one and mm -hmm. shit, and he's like, fuck it, let's. So like, let me let me help you do it, and as yeah, we all yeah. got together, and I was like, fuck it. And that's how I started off. Just mm -hmm. a little. Oh yeah, it ain't, it ain't easy, man. Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah, like I told you guys, I think it's just consistency. Like, mm -hmm. put it out and just do your best, like to put it out and make it relatable. And usually, you can't control the audience. You, the audience has to come to you. Yeah, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So like, you put it out and you be authentic. And I think usually people respond to that. Um, but yeah, I, I certainly know it's not easy, man. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's it's a lot of hours, a lot of commitment. Like people, would, like when we would take breaks. People would be like, hey, when you drop an episode, I'm like, dude, when I have time, bro, like, yeah, for real, it's dude. fucking hard. I like, didn't realize how people get mad. Like, yeah, uh, bro. My oh, no. like, why the fuck do I make yeah, an episode? No, yeah, I'm like, we yeah. have friends who are like, bro, <laughs> like, I've been looking forward to the next episode. I'm like, I'm no. sorry. <laughs> then they get mad when you don't post it on time, when you don't post oh, one at oh, all. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> like, I can be late, yeah. but not if I'm like not posting yeah. the whole yeah. uh, video, that they get fucking Yeah, because people have it like, the people that we talk to is like, I have it set to where it tells me. Yeah. It's dropped. But, you know, Shout out to you guys. Yeah, I, for I, I real. Appreciate it. Much love to you guys. Nah, but fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Honestly, right? like, Keep it motivated. This is Channel Beans podcast. <laughs> no, it's it's funny too because I like I told you guys like like sometimes like they won't even like like or share or anything like that. So I yeah. always remind them at the end of the episode, and they'll be like, Nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> but like it's, especially like when yeah. you don't drop something, they're like, Hey, so where's the next podcast? I'm like, Fuck you, bitch! Like yeah. I'm trying to fucking. Did you share my shit? Did you no, share it? Okay. Did, you, <laughs> did you raid? Did you do this? Yeah. Did you raid? I'm my first drive. It's just dying over here. I'm like, Show me the screenshot, bro. Show yeah, for send real. it to me. Share Here's the my clips. <laughs> yeah. If anything, share the clips. Yeah. Share the clips. Show your people, bro. Yeah. If we make you laugh, you know, just fucking share yeah. the clip. Bro. Tell your friends. To be honest, yeah. if you're like that easy, these retarded fuckers, just share it. No, I think what I like a lot about podcasts is the fact that you guys 
can put it out there and be yourselves. Um, and it's like, honestly, it's like the only medium where you can kind of do that. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Like if you're on the radio, you're censored already. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you, if you're, if you're to, trying to do like, um, well now they have like Patreon and they have all these other things that like, you can like really put out whatever the fuck yeah. you want. Mm-hmm. You know, people only pay fans. for it. <laughs> o- yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> only fans. A lot of people yeah. do that too. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, the, their, uh, exclusivity content, obviously not just porn, but yeah. What? No, nah, porn. that's all only fans. <laughs> <is porn>. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, but for sure, I think podcasts are the 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 cool thing about them is that you can really be yourself and put it out, and no one's telling you what to do. Like yeah. you guys exactly. control your own content, and whoever it is that wants to listen to it is going to listen to it. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I, it gives you that freedom. It really does give you that. Yeah, freedom and to do what and, you want. and for us, it's about evolving, you know, more and more and getting better and yeah. doing like getting to a place where we can do what the fuck we want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, because uh, I feel like we still have a lot to go, but yeah, it's it's a lot of fun getting yeah. there. Yeah, because we're learning. We're like, oh, I figured this out today. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, for sure. It, it puts you in this kind of mentality of like mm-hmm. getting excited for the next step. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I just don't want that to end. You know what I'm saying? What's yeah. cool is that you guys have, like, relationships with the other pods, too. Like, I told him, I was like, bro, like, this whole time, I was like, oh, shit, there's other people in Fort Worth yeah. that actually do <laughs> yeah. this, too. Like, I, I mean, we're, like, at the beginning of it, bro. Like, yeah. we're barely meeting yeah. everybody. We're barely yeah. saying hi. We yeah, cross yeah, Everybody already knows each other. And yeah. We're just like, hey. Hey, yeah. what's up? We're, we're, we're kind of putting our foot in the door and saying, yeah. hey, what's up? Uh, yeah. Yeah, me with... With Jesus and TFTI, yeah. and then us obviously, and, and kind of like coming together, promote cross pollinating, like I said, cross pollinating, and then like helping each other promote each other, and yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. I'm I'm thankful for like everyone that's it, they're so grateful too, like they're happy yeah. to yeah to, to to get together and shit because yeah. we're like minded individuals, mm-hmm. we can have a conversation at yeah. least, you know, yeah, and so uh, at least for an hour, <laughs> yeah, at least for an hour. Yeah. Well, I think the root of all of this is that people usually aren't bad people so mm-hmm. they'll try to help you out like yeah. you know yeah uh and most of the time people like when other people are doing the same shit it's like yeah. okay they like, get it there's mm-hmm. always like a friendly competition obviously with the, stuff like that you know but i think at the end of the day everybody wants everybody else to succeed and yeah. i think that's that's really what i look into with everybody like when i see y'all guys shit i'm like that's badass like you guys have a following you guys are putting out and being yourselves at the end of the day that's really what it is yeah. um so the more you put it out there you know who, who knows what will happen yeah know? i think that's the biggest compliment that we get is just people are like bro i'm surprised that y'all say this shit y'all say <laughs> and like y'all just like it's normal everyday shit it's like the yeah. way you are like yeah, it's authentic yeah for sure and everybody it's says worse. The same shit. What the fuck uh, I, I think I and think it does I'm, get worse on here i, I think I, I think i'm worried i'm getting i'm i'm i'm, I'm just crazy yeah. oh no dude like, i i get a little scared just because like i said like uh I mean, being like this, like your whole life is out there. Yeah, you know? yeah. like you're <laughs> yeah. you're putting yourself out there. You know how like uh, just just a couple of weeks ago, I went to my my friend's wedding, uh, who was um, uh, he I knew him from Mariachi, obviously. Uh, now he's also a teacher, but he just got married, right? Yeah. To a white girl. I was like, ah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. anything for the papers, <laughs> that, man. <laughs> right? No, nah, but he he got married, right? And it was cool because I saw my old uh, pre cal teacher mm. there. She was also my calculus teacher, but. Yo to pendejo, like, I, I did my best, you know. Yeah. Anyway, but I, <laughs> but anyway, like I had, so my pre cal teacher, she was, like, one of the coolest teachers there, like, in, yeah. in, in Northside uh, uh, High School. And uh, I saw her there. She was actually the, what's it called? The officiant? Mm-hmm. The oh, one wow. that married them, yeah. Oh, wow. But it was cool because, like, oh. she came up to us. She came up to me and what, me and my wife. We both had her class, obviously. And then she came up to me. She's like, oh, so like, catch, catch me up with you guys. And we just kind of, like, talked to her how we went through the whole marriage thing and everything and how, you know, we have a house and everything. And then she was like, okay, how about you, Sammy? Like, I've heard your podcast. And I'm like, (laughs) I was like, oh, shit. (laughs) Yeah. I'm like, she knows me from school, bro. You know, and this was like 10 years ago almost now, you know? So I'm like, damn, like, I'm such a different person than I was back in the day. Like, like, I was such a pussy back in the day. (laughs) You know, so, I mean, you just, you've matured obviously in the last couple years or you maybe haven't matured, you know? I think, Um, I think when you're younger, it's just more of a, a fucking I think like, you're just innocent yeah no not just I'm innocent in, you, you trying to hold up like an image maybe yeah like oh for like sure ego. Yeah. you had an ego you had an I ego had a, a and then now ego. we're just like yeah fuck it it's like we're all working bro like yeah, no, like, yeah. yeah that's yeah. one thing like <laughs> everybody who like shit, so. like <laughs> i fucking hate like people that like somehow got money or whatever and like they kind of show that shit off. i'm like bro like yeah 
You ain't shit, bro. Like we're we're no both, one shit. We're yeah, all really. paying bills. Yeah. You're probably paying like whatever on this. Fucking You're probably paying Ford. double what I'm. Yeah, doing. yeah fucking fine. Ford Duramax, whatever the fuck. <laughs> what are you gonna fly in that thing? Like, <laughs> what, <laughs> like what? What do you want that for? What yeah. you want to do? Just uh, just, just throw just black smoke. Just take me out for a spin, and that's it, bro. That's yeah. all I want. Okay. All I yeah. want is for you to take me to the drive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So like, uh, but yeah, it was just creepy. It, not creepy, but I meant like it was. It was weird. It was like, damn, like so many people like that that are like, yeah, yeah I've listened to your podcast. Yeah, I'm like, fuck, like you know who I am now. Like, yeah, because I have managers at work listen to my podcast. I'm like, oh yeah. fuck. Yeah, that's how I am with like people from my past that like don't really know me, but then they yeah. starting to they, remember like, know me. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they're like, oh, you have a podcast? I'm like, yeah, goddamn. Yeah, I'll yeah, dude. Yeah, and, and like again, I'm excited when people like who I don't know listen. But yeah. when people I do know, it's a little... It's, it's a little, kind of embarrassing. You're like, yeah. oh, fuck. No, yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah. Do, I do this all the time, bro. But like, um, right now that I'm a teacher, so like I teach mariachi and, and I've taken my, my students out to like uh, state festivals and UIL type shit, you know? Because yeah. mariachi is, is really expanding almost to the point of band and orchestra and choir, yeah, yeah. which is really cool that now Texas is doing that. They're like, yeah, damn, like, cool, we should probably do something for all these Mexicans that are, sh- because, you know, that are like... That are singing and shit. Yeah. yeah. You guys let's, are, let's throw them a fucking bone. You know? Yeah. You, know, you, know, dude? Let's you guys get happens. invited to Rangers games, right? Uh, no, no. Other people do that, which <laughs> is cool. I wish I was. Shit, I was pretty <laughs> what are they called? The the mariachis for the Rangers, what are they called? Mariachi. That's what it's basically. Los Rangers, I don't fucking know. Like, <laughs> yeah, Mariachi shit. Los Texas, Mariachi. I don't yeah. fucking know. Um, yeah. But anyway, like we've gone to these events and stuff like that, and it was funny because like this last year, like in February, I went out there. I took my students. You know, my students know who I am, but they don't know me. Know me? Like, yeah. there yeah. are some that know. You know that I do a podcast and that have like a life outside of school. <laughs> the rest of them just know me as Mr. Ramirez. You know, yeah. I'm just I'm as the, the mariachi teacher. teacher. Yeah. So it was so weird. Like. uh I was walking my kids around in that event, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm official type shit, right? I got glasses and everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm walking around, you know, I'm, I'm taking my kids. A button-up shirt. Yeah, shit. yeah, you know, like real official blazer type shit. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah so, they, <laughs> so I'm just walking around and like, dude, it's so like fucking scary because like, I'll be walking around and you see like some kid, like some other school in fucking Kingsville or something and they'll be like, Charo Beans? Oh, fuck. And I was just like, oh, fuck. Like, you know, like, you know I'm, I'm wa- trying to walk around and my students are like, Cause the, oh, how many what other did he call you? How many <laughs> other mariachi podcasts is there? Is there really any? Well, uh, so when we started the podcast, there was one that I knew of. Uh, well, there was two actually. There was one that was called um, the Play Mariachi Podcast, mm. and he was based in Arizona, mm-hmm. uh, and he would just do his thing over there. But he wasn't consistent with it. Like he put an episode here and there, and that's yeah. it. Um, and there was no like he would talk about mariachi, but it wasn't it wasn't like that big or anything like that not that ours is big but it wasn't like really out there that much mm-hmm. um i don't know people recognize him before. it was yeah. on, for real. <laughs> it was only like on youtube like for 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 him and then there was another one where like a dude did like two episodes and after that he was like all right this is enough you know yeah so you're like <laughs> yeah the the mariachi podcast I, I, I like to say i was like the third one that started one but Ours was the one that was like on all major platforms on yeah. YouTube. It was a weekly thing, and we just kept going with it. Yeah. Um. Cause and even then, that first podcast, you kind of like he would just kind of like talk about mariachi. And then the second one was like the history of mariachi. It was like a learning <laughs> podcast. Yeah. Like, and that's what we wanted to do in the very beginning. We established like we're not fucking historians. Yeah. We're fucking dumb, and we just gonna talk about it. You yeah, know. And yeah. that's that was the premise behind it. And yeah. So after that, like. There's been like maybe two or three podcasts that came out after us, kind of the same idea, you know, like yeah. two guys talk about mariachi, three guys talk about mariachi, and it's all the same shit. Like you know, they talk about war stories, like like us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like, um, I like to say that ours has been more consistent, been there longer, um, putting out yeah. way more content. Yeah, yeah and like, you guys are, I mean, you specifically are very relatable. <laughs> Like I like to think that. And, yeah, and I try so to. like anyone that's like again, up and coming in the mariachi, Mexican, yeah. Mexican yeah. And <laughs> brown mariachi. can listen yeah. and they're just Short. immediately connected Short. to it. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. Nobody yeah, above like, five six listens to this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, five, six, high, under, five eight was, maximum. Yeah, we have a height maximum yeah. and it's yeah. not six feet. If you're yeah. fucking five eight, you're dumb, bro. Yeah. yeah. Just you can't fucking, listen to this. Go ahead and unsubscribe. The subscription says how tall are you? Yeah, exactly. 
So <laughs> instead of age restricted, it's fucking height restricted. restricted. No, mm-hmm. no, we made that very known in the very beginning. Like uh, it's because, like I said, the mariachi world can be one that's like really cool if you talk about it, mm. but everybody's so fucking taboo about it. I fucking hate it, and mm. I always hated like it, it, just like with anything. I don't know what you guys are interested in, but like. Everything. Everything. Okay. Yeah, so right. like, <laughs> in the mariachi world, there's always like the top dogs, or there's like guys that are known for being like fucking badass, right. you know? And not to say like they carry themselves like, oh, I'm the fucking badass, but I'm saying there are people out there that like feel like they're the fucking best and oh, yeah. they kind of show that kind of swagger and like they won't talk to anybody because they're fucking badass. Can so, you like, name one right now? No, I can't without yeah. getting yeah. a fucking the mariachi uh, yeah. reaper. Coming. Just saying, they would just beep it out. Yeah. The mariachi government gonna come after him. No, nah, it'll be like Shug <laughs> Knight. Nobody says his Big name. Big mariachi's yeah. gonna yeah. come after him. Yeah. Yeah. Mariachi Illuminati? Yeah. The fucking mariachi Illuminati. Yeah. Uh, Sammy got you, Sammy. Yeah. It's See, a, like, uh, writing Chato, it down right now. They're yeah. like, fuck. Chattel Beans this. is actually a conspiracy podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, boys, we got him. We got him. Where do these strings really come from? Yeah. Made out of angel tears. They're, yeah. they're made out of old mariachi bones. Yeah. These, instruments, <laughs> these instruments are made of vibranium. Yeah. <laughs> Where are they getting it from? <laughs> no. The guitars are made out of the ancient tall trees. <laughs> this Aztec type shit. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, so like, so the very beginning we established that we're like, we're not calling ourselves professionals. Like, obviously we go out and we play, but like, we're not here to say like we're the fucking shit. Yeah. Like, we yeah. know more than everybody. We always remind people we're like. Don't listen to us. Like we're list- we're talking about what we know and that's it. And we're not like saying that we know any more than anybody else. So like I like to establish that from the beginning cuz like I said like people afterwards would say like with the podcast like oh like uh, like you guys know a lot of stuff like yeah but just like what we know. Like we're yeah. not here to fucking Putting out say. a disclaimer. We're trying to make it like relatable. Like we're just like you guys. We're just like the listeners and we're we're learning students, we're professionals, right? We go out here and play but we we don't know any more than maybe mm. you do, you know, and we're not mm. saying that we do. So that's yeah. always been our podcast the goal. is just we you won't you won't learn anything except for like random facts. Yeah, <laughs> I think I, that's what we're for really random, good at. Yeah, we're yeah. really random good facts. at random facts. Like a random fact is your not your main nostril nah. switches every hour. Shut the fuck. Like, so like if you oh, breathe in, yeah. yeah. So Hold if on. you breathe in one <laughs> nostril and breathe out the other one, and you figure out which one's your main nostril. So cokeheads, you know, like yeah. this is well, they know that every hour they switch different nostrils. <laughs> they, just, yeah. they have a notebook and yeah. shit. Uh, and they're like, "This is uh, my good one. This yeah. is my bad one." Yeah. What right? time is it? You got, you got yeah. tested now. You're like, "This yeah. is my good one. This, this is my bad one." Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I never knew that. Look at that. Now See, there you go. Coming bro. out of here, yeah, with knowing some shit. Yeah. I You're just right. I, I just thought I couldn't breathe with my nose. Period. So. No. Oh, well, right. I mean, <laughs> mouth breather. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he is. He mouth is. Yeah. He's a mouth breather. But you'll, you'll hear that. I snort loud as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. You should ask my wife, bro. Like. She be leaving I think the if room. you ask all my girls, <laughs> like I'm sorry, even my dogs are scared. <laughs> yeah. That's really badass. Yeah. Yeah, you do fucking snore pretty good. I do snore pretty yeah. good. Yeah, pretty nice. My dog fucking snored loud as fuck. I think it's like to establish dominance, honestly. Yeah, like While if you're, you're asleep, like, to if you're like <laughs> yeah, to scare away the shit, <laughs> to ward off all the evil spirits. <laughs> like if you ever see, if you ever see a dude like all tucked in and shit, like you're probably thinking like I'm better than this fool. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like oh shit, it's like dudes that sneeze, right? Yeah, like, a dude sneezes like at you, and I'm like. I don't like the people that sneeze loud as fuck in a that's quiet my dad, room. Bro. Like, oh, that's, my dad, that's me. <laughs> my dad's <laughs> having a straight up. Me, my dad, when he sneezes, is having like a straight up spiritual, spiritual oh, like, experience. Like, <laughs> oh, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. Bro, whenever I sneeze like that, I feel like I'm gonna fucking die because then my I, fucking chest hurts. Yeah. I think I think anyone that like when they sneeze and it doesn't like they go they hold hold it in. Yeah. Or it sounds something's like wrong with them, bro. You go. You yeah. know, I'm like, where to go, bro? Yeah. Like, yeah. where's the project? Let, Let it out, bro. Are you bro, storing them? It's just a booty hole going. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming out the other end, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that means they're farting in front of me. I think so, it's yeah. just like a, it's kind of dangerous of anything. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah, they're they're su- you're supposed you know? to let it out. I don't know how yeah. they do that. They're just, up. Oh. They say like, it comes bro. out like 100 miles an hour, bro. Yeah. yeah. I was like, damn. So there's something wrong in there, bro. That's why I just don't sneeze. I just wasn't there something <laughs> ever? He just hold I it. just refuse to. I'm just like, <laughs> he's like pineapples, pineapples, I'm, I'm pineapples. Not, <laughs> I'm not fat. It's just all the sneezes I held in. <laughs> it's all air. It's all <laughs> air. <laughs> so don't don't poke me, bro. What is that like, Bay, Baymax? From yeah, Baymax. Like, uh, he, like, he has tapes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that movie recently. That movie's good, good bro. It's underrated. Movie, yeah. Weren't they gonna make a live action one? Uh, I have no idea. How? Big Hero Six. I hope they don't. That's nah, a good movie to stay as a yeah, cartoon. Nah, bro. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good movie. Yeah. It's cute as hell. 
Well, except when the guy dies. That wasn't cute. Yeah, that wasn't cute. <laughs> <laughs> that was really, that was, it got me sad. I was like, oh, Why does everybody got to die in Disney movies? For like, real, bro. Just let like, them live. They, like, they like all have to bro. die. Like I think when, I think when they killed the lion in the very in the Lion King. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah Spoiler just, alert. You know? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Pretty much. Not at scene. Yeah, in yeah. both movies, the live yeah. action and the original. I think if they kill the Bro. lion, I think they'll stop at nothing. Right? It, it, yeah. It's like the, the what's that dinosaur movie too? The land before time. Before, before time. time. That too. The fucking like the, the mom the, died. No, the parents died. right? The parents died, bro. And I was Bambi. Like, Bambi's mom. Bambi. Didn't all dinosaurs die in the end? Yeah. Exactly. Not that sad. Like they all end up dying. No, that the end. The end. Just and in Ice Age, they make it really funny. Like when someone dies, when know? somebody dies. <laughs> yeah. oh. So now I don't even feel bad about it since, yeah. since I was laughing through it. Like, now, now that you brought it up, almost every Disney movie there's a death in it. Yeah, yeah. that's what like gets the plot well, going for some reason. No, that's is an Ice that's Age Pixar. Dreamworks? I was thinking about Pixar. Pixar probably doesn't. Pixar. The Minions. Yeah, nobody Toy Story dies doesn't. in Minions. Toy Story doesn't. <laughs> They yeah, they do. They Ooh. decapitated, or what's it, decapitated? Uh, amputated uh, Bro. Buzz Lightyear's arm. Yeah, he one scene. Yeah, but he fucking he didn't Woody die. got stabbed in his shoulder with the pickaxe. But he's not dead. But he's not dead. Because he's death. a toy. Yeah, if they were alive when they, they were gonna go dead. into the furnace, bro. Like that, oh, yeah. that was like that was pretty bad. Anxiety yeah. inducing, bro. I'm like, like, no, what the fuck y'all doing, Woody? Right now, yeah. <laughs> bro, you gonna see not if not he's saying. made out of wood? <laughs> <laughs> we gonna see, bro. Yeah, we gonna see. <laughs> we, about, we about to find out how flammable are you, bro? <laughs> Isn't he like cotton? How the fuck does he walk? Woody. Well, I don't, Woody. Why are you worried about the physics no, of nah, Toy bro, Story? No, no, bro. Fuck that, dude. Like, I think if anything, you should be hold worried on, why on. they talk in the, yeah. in the first place. <laughs> nah, fuck the talking. Look at Mr. Potato Head, bro. Like, he turns <laughs> into a fucking tortilla, bro. Like, come on. That did, that did, oh, that yeah. I about that. A yeah, tortilla. Yeah. Yeah. Tortilla. Whenever he gets disassembled, he just puts himself in a tortilla. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Is it in the new one? The it's in the third one. I haven't seen the new one. The third one or the fourth one? The fourth one. No, I don't remember honestly. The, the third one is in, and whenever he gives him up, the fourth one wins was like it passed that one. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. why he turns to a tortilla. No. Yes, that's the third one. Papa turns the into third a tortilla. one's where he almost dies. The fourth one is whenever uh, he's fighting at some like uh, thrift store and shit. Well, I believe Juan because you know how many nieces and nephews. Yeah, yeah I watched him true. consistently. Nah, right. bro. That's true, that's bro. The third one, you're right. I think with any, I think with any Disney movie that I've seen, it's been like a one and done deal. Like I don't oh, think I. Yeah. The only one I watched like over and over is probably like Toy Story because I watched yeah. that shit. On, I was talking about this the other day on VHS. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. The like, original. Same yeah. Oh, I the saw original. That. Let me rewind yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I. It's crazy because uh, right now they were just putting. Uh, I went to the theater and they were putting. They're gonna show again Jaws, like the movie oh, Jaws. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, what's fucking wild is that. Whoever watched this back in the... I was thinking, like... Because the first thing I thought was, like, why the fuck? Yeah. Just watch it at home. Like, what the fuck? You know? <laughs> like, why you got to go to the theater and watch it? But then I was... <laughs> like, just stream that shit. Like, yeah. All, like, fucking Gen Z. Like, just yeah. stream that shit. Just stream that shit, read the book. But then I was thinking, like, damn, like, I can see how, like, that appeals to, like, the older crowd. Because they saw that shit in theaters, and it was probably, like... Fucking blurry as fuck. Or they <laughs> were watching look it, real. They're watching it at a drive-in. Smoking cigarettes inside and shit. Yeah, like, or they're watching it at a drive-in and Pixels you weren't even paying attention. You're just making out with, yeah. like, your future wife. Like, just, so I was like, yeah, that's probably why you would want to watch it later. Because, like... Remake the movie. You could see it, like, you in make fucking out in 4K. There. Yeah, you make out in yeah. fucking there. In but 4K I, and the shark looks like plastic. You're like, what the fuck? It looks fake as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of sworn this shit looked better You before, see the guy right? in there, like... Yeah. All the special... The wires and shit. Yeah. Or trash. Like cut, cut, cut. You can yeah. see the wires. That's true, man. That's, that's <laughs> you can see the outline of the pool, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the they, pool. they fucking recorded Titanic in a pool, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like fucking, it doesn't doesn't hit the same. Nah. Me that, knowing that it was yeah. a fucking Walmart pool. You in know, the like. background. <laughs> Put that shit in 4K <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Whatever the, the fuck James 4K. Cameron was doing, he fucking did it right. Yeah, yeah he, he I thought they were in the specific billions. ocean, bro. Yeah, like, not for real. Yeah, I thought they were in the real ocean with a real boat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> People hitting the propellers. Like, actually, we did lose Jack. Yeah. I don't know where you went, bro. Yeah. The, bro. the kiddie pool is five inches deep. Yeah. <laughs> bro, and I wa- did you did you ever see that on VHS? How it was like a double feature, no, no, Titanic no. back in the day. Like it was like a two discs. Nah, bro. Like the VHS, VHS bro. Oh, what you mean? Yeah. It was two tapes. Like you had to get both of them. The fat what? ass. Ones? Yeah, you had to get. I remember back in the day they had that, yeah. and I remember the cutoff was always when you see her tits. Yeah. 
I was what? Like, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, I remember that. And it was PG thirteen, which is wild. The other half they get the both tits. <laughs> 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 please insert if you want to see the other one. Please insert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I remember the extended version. I remember always being like, "Holy shit!" Like that was PG thirteen that movie, but you could see like everything. Yeah, you know? like, I was like, "Damn!" Like, well, because back then nobody was sensitive to shit. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I think it's because, well, what true. I read it was because it was like it was like an art thing. Like mm-hmm. he was painting her. Ah. I'm like, so if it's art, it's like they're not making rated art. In all advanced. titties are art, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> titties are a work of art. Yeah. Small titties. I mean, he titties. drew them. He got like. Lopsided. She got finesse, bro. Like, like, <laughs> lopsided. She got finesse. Because <laughs> he was like, yeah, I'd be drawing people and shit. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, all right, that's enough to like that's take, enough. go full nude. Like, yeah. Jeez. That it's was like, it's, it's like me saying, "Oh, I could write a song about you." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just like she took that shit. And said, "All right, like I'll get naked." I guess. Like, yeah, <laughs> what kind of fucking thought process? Is that? She's, yeah, he's She's like, like, "Paint me like one of your French girls." Yeah. Like you, know, you, you could have literally like painted. You could have painted your face. Like you yeah. didn't have to. You didn't even ask for the full thing. You know, like <laughs> he's, he said. he's he, bro. He was a he was a broke dude who said, "Oh, yeah. I draw." He probably could have drawn like didn't he cats stick, or stick fucking figures. shit. Oh no, I draw an, uh, only nude models. Yeah. I didn't he fucking fucking <laughs> yeah. finesse, you don't even say anything. Like, <laughs> I think if anything, Rose just she's kind she's of a whore. Super, yeah, yeah I just, I mean, real quick, she's like, yeah, I'm gonna, now I'm not gonna marry this dude. Like, yeah, and it took that little convincing. Like, for real. yeah, he, like, he drew my hands wrong. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, you draw? Okay, yeah, she <laughs> say less. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> oh, you got money. You didn't have to say shit. He does it? Yeah, he does have money. Didn't he sneak into the boat? Who? No, he won the tickets on the poker the poker game. Yeah, oh, he yeah. won it. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought yeah. he snuck into the boat. No, no he no, won. No. He, he won at the last minute. Yeah, yeah like and he ran. fucking ran up the steps and everything. Yeah, you know, that was last minute. Yeah, yep. I think it's just because like Leonardo DiCaprio back then had that much like. Did like, he he away? Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, like yeah. he didn't have to try, bro. She was like, "Yeah, let's do it." Bro, yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio yeah, would have looked like he'd look now, saying that he's an artist. Like, fuck, <laughs> yeah. no, get the fuck away from me. I'm always, an artist. Where your tattoos and your piercings, <laughs> bro? I've, I've had the same conversation with my wife, where Where's I was your like, neck at? Yeah. "All these movies where like." <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I erased it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I, I god drowned, damn. so they had to remove it. Oh <laughs> it was still stuck with water, bro. I had to mm. remove my neck. <laughs> I was drowning. He does not have a neck, bro. <coughs> not anymore. In in the movie, don't look up. He's like this, bro. That's why. For real? Yeah. That's I why he can't look up. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta lay down. No neck. <laughs> He's like the dogs. He has to sit and then look up. Oh, oh sorry. We didn't mean to interrupt. What were you were saying? Sorry, bro. I don't fucking remember. Oh, I was just I was telling my wife that like all of this shit like in movies always works because the guy and the girl or if anything the guy is cute. Like easy yeah. or like or like in music videos when it's like that shit's creepy. It's like <laughs> it's not because he's cute. Yeah, I'm like if if this he's shit attractive. Would, yeah, yeah. Like when they're like fucking throwing out stalker vibes and shit. I'm like you telling me like my Mexican ass was doing shit some shit like that. You like, call the cops. The you, cops. You call the cops. You been on the floor. Right? <laughs> yeah, like just because this dude's got like fucking blue eyes. You know he's kind of cute. I'm like. That's why this works. That's, That's why. That's the only haircut. why. That's the only reason. Yeah. You're telling me like in Fucking Titanic, E-boy. some some dude like me shows up, yeah, I'd be drawing and shit, you know. Like, <laughs> you know? like, <laughs> like she'd be like, all right, like, no, she's going to call the fucking, or they got immigration Security. on the, They had immigration on that boat. You think like, they tickets? Because yeah. I think they're fake. <laughs> this guy, this guy doesn't, he, 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 does he work here? Like, you know, that's right. probably what it is. They were like, I'm a musician and the girls are with her legs yeah. wide open. Let me see. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> I mean, is there right. Mexicans in the Titanic? I have no idea. No? I think I think uh, historically, no, no there was no, immigration. Right. There was no, there was no. no. <laughs> I was gonna say there's no gardeners there, bro. They're on the sea. There's nothing to water there. There's nothing to water. There's, there's nothing. Why that shit, maybe that's the why that cooks. Shit. Or yeah, some maybe shit. they were the cooks. Bro. Maybe that's, actually, that's why that shit went down. You see yeah. Sammy playing the the fiddle and shit. Yeah, shit. <laughs> it, was pretty bad. it was a pleasure playing with you, boys. <laughs> bro, I would have fucking ran. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck. Where would you have gone? Huh? Where were you? <laughs> Where were you going? Somewhere <laughs> high. I'm not going to stay right there. He would have got his vihuela, nah, kick two people off the security <laughs> yeah. boat. He would have been was... at the rose like, so I swear I could draw. <laughs> 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 Nah, I drawing doesn't save you, bro. Those musicians, <laughs> man. They could have ran. They could have gone on a boat. Fuck that. Die with honor. Fuck that. Yeah, hell no. Hell no. I would have jumped bro, on that boat. I don't feel like I bet they didn't even pay him enough to, to leave with mm-hmm. honor, bro. Fuck that. Yeah. If that shit's always like, oh, no, nah, ladies and uh, children first. I was like, fuck that. Fuck. Dude, this boat's going by myself right now, actually, There's bro. The, which was this discrimination? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, <bro. laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that wouldn't work now. I, uh, I, mean, I am a woman. That's sex, that's sexist, yeah. bro. Like, yeah, why yeah, would you say sexist. that? I identify as a woman now. Fuck it. <laughs> I've just... seen a meme like that, bro. Oh, I think I just seen that too. It was like women and children first, children first. And it was that dude holding yeah. the kid. Like I'm trans. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm trans. Yeah, it just doesn't work now. Yeah, I saw yeah, that same I saw meme. That shit. Yeah. That's the first. Like, yeah. Now that you said that shit, I was like, oh, <laughs> fucking trigger. A lot of things wouldn't work in today's like. I guess you could say society. Yeah. You know, I, I I don't know, but like I just think it's just like a certain percentage of people that are making it impossible for the rest of us. Yeah, like. If you see any Netflix series, there's now a gay couple in every yeah, single everything. series. Everything yeah. has to have representation. And I that's think, honestly not always true, you know? Yeah. And I'm just like, no offense, but I'm like, bro, can we just like have a normal show? Can I just have like a funny show with the, yeah. all yeah. this bullshit? For I think uh, I, I had this conversation too. Like recently, what I don't like in movies is that everything... Uh, have y'all seen the new movie uh, Hustle with yeah. Yeah. Adam Sandler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, yeah. it's a good movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just doing shit and I was like, I mean, it looks alright. Yeah. So then I watched it. and I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. But like, it's not every movie nowadays has to show that like social media is out here because mm-hmm. yeah. like it's fucking annoying. Because like in that movie, spoiler alert, yeah, like they use like TikTok like to get the dude yeah. famous and then get him into the get him thing. into the tournament. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, that's possible, but you don't got to put it in every fight now. Like. Any fight in any show is like they take out their phones and they start <laughs> yeah. recording. Yeah, and it's like goddamn, like we used to do that, but it was because it was in high school. Like, yeah, bro, like hit that bitch. We know? used to, like, you know, we used to mm-hmm. do that. We'd be recording the fight and the fights over there. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, we <laughs> had fucking Nokia's back then. You yeah, know? like did we it's really. All, did. It's all pixels just it's hitting each pix- other. Yeah, what is that? I don't there's know. There's, black two, <laughs> there's two blobs just going. <laughs> <burn>. <laughs> there's so many videos back then on YouTube of like old fights that yeah are literally like that. You just hear like, uh, yeah, <laughs> dude, it's cold. And it's just like oh, and it's over. Yeah, <laughs> we've come so seconds. far. Like as far as like video and everybody literally has like a fucking mm-hmm. badass camera on their phone or badass way to record video. Like everything is like just available. Everybody. And then like, there's the people that every, suck recording at it. Like yeah, <laughs> you, you, yeah. You also have people who don't know how to record shit, yeah. bro. They're recording yeah. the floor the whole time. Yep. And shit. <laughs> now these, now have you seen these. the video of the guys like recording like a fight, yeah. Yeah. but he's recording himself the whole yeah. time. Yeah. He's, he's like, so stupid. He's like, oh shit, oh shit. And he looks Dude. at the video. He's like. <laughs> Dude, you have no idea how many times like it just keeps happening. Like when we're playing mariachi and we're playing at a gig and some some older person, you could tell that like someone got them that iPhone because you're yeah. like, yeah. there's no way you got like iPhone going, like, 13, the fucking the the biggest model. You know, <laughs> they're like, wait, bro, let me get a picture of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so many times that you can tell like they, they take out the phone and they're trying to record us and they're just taking photos like. <laughs> Or they're just on the photo, and they think they're recording already. They think, like, if you open the camera, like, record. Yeah. You know, like, Make so many times that, that happens, dude. And I feel bad because I'm like, you ain't getting shit, bro. Yeah. Like, yo, like want, the older people, I hate You want me to like, do it again real quick? But I face, <laughs> that yeah. photo, but face. Yeah. face live, Facebook live. face live, Facebook uh, live. That's the other thing, dude. That's we have cringy, so many, bro. So many people, uh, we have this Thursday restaurant that we play at every Thursday over there in, in Dallas, and there's this, like, we, we call them Las Divorciadas. Because, mm-hmm. do- oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like, it's just a table of nothing but, like, you know. Tias? Tias. Yeah, tias. Yeah, the tia type. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. You know? yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, so, like, we call them Las, Las Divorciadas, you know, because they come out here and it's just them. There's no dudes. It's just them. Like, yeah. fucking Galentine's Day or some shit. And then they're, they, they go out to record us, but they'll be on live for, like, th- we play, like, three hours, dude. And the they'll be on live the whole, the whole time. time bro, yeah. And I'm, I'm just thinking, like, what fucking battery do you got? Yeah, because <laughs> goddamn, like, they got the battery packed already in the phone case. And shit, dude, I, well, one time there was one time where she like almost disconnected her whole fucking system. She's like, I gotta charge my phone. I'm like, oh, just oh, in the video. The, yeah, in the video. I'm like, <laughs> and, like you look at the thing where it says like how many people are viewing. Like nobody, nobody, no, yeah. nobody's no, doing nobody that. cares what you're looking at right and now. And I know your phone's hot. Like you yeah. know, like, <laughs> I know you feel she's, that. She's shit. just like, ah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the other thing. I'm, I'm like, I know you're tired, bro. Like just put it down. It's okay. Like. And, and, goes, and then one of them gets up to pee. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. She's she's over like, here, oh my god! She's over here trying to like eat her fucking. <laughs> she's eating her ce- ceviche tostada. Like, yeah. fucking, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, dude, just enjoy the meal. Just, like, real, just fucking chill. Like, it's request okay. your song, eat, and have yeah. a time. You know? She's like, no, oh, I gotta, yeah. I gotta let people know I'm experiencing yeah. the thing. Nah, yeah, bro, it's kind of fucking it. cringy, bro. Yeah, no, no, I, I don't think I'm. I don't think I've ever gone live like on Facebook. I think we've gone live like on Instagram, like just because we're playing and stuff, like recording ourselves. 
other than that, though, I've never deemed an event enough to be like, I need to show the world. You yeah, know? Like, exactly. I, there's nothing that like I could be experiencing that, that exciting. That exciting. Unless there was a fucking nuclear bomb falling. Yeah. 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 Just so, so you guys know, <laughs> we're all going to die. As well. yeah. I, know, I know y'all see this too, but. Yeah. yeah. You that boss. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, other than what, that. What's, uh, what's your, I guess off the top of your head, your three biggest pet peeves as, as a client at you? <sighs> Facebook um, Live. Like just the most like <laughs> stop this like right away. Uh, yeah. Pet peeves just off the top of my head. I fucking hate anytime that we're like walking around because I mean we're in the mariachi traje like all yeah. day. Like what we do is we we park our car somewhere like usually like at a QT or at a place that we all know, and uh, the van picks us up and we all travel like fucking low mariachi bus. Like yeah. we all go out. So like. The, you know how like they say like who the fuck is eating gas station food? Yeah, us. Like, like, <laughs> it's literally us, dude. Like so, like uh, the only time that we have to eat is always like at a QT or something quick. Yeah, you know? so QT's kind of good. Though. It's yeah. good. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I fuck with it. You know, like it's cool. It's like, do you like gas station food? Because you're gonna love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ro- rule number one: you have to. Move. Yeah, like, to like it. Bro. I mean, the only time it gets like pretty bad is like if we've stopped like fucking four or five times. Like, oh, I'm like, I can't eat. <laughs> I can't eat another hot dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> you eat a spicy glizzy no more. Yeah. <laughs> like I tried I, the hamburger, the tamale yeah. they have there, and the corn dog. Yeah, like at, at and this the buffalo. Work. At this point, <laughs> at this point in my career, I could say that I've eaten everything at that fucking store, yeah. dude. Like, at that point, you know how to make it. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I'm like, dude, like, just, just give me the fucking toes, I'll do it. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> he, he looks at crazy. the he looks yeah. at the rollers like now we got two minutes left. Yeah, we got four. Yeah, so I I, I know I'm, ba- I'm basically the manager there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but it's funny though because like um, anytime we go there, we I mean we all get out. Obviously, mm. we get out like a fucking clown car, like pinche Maria, two, one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. And know. how many of y'all fit in there? Uh, well, it's it's like a big van, yeah. so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, right? Because I mean, it's a three rows, and you could yeah. put three oh, people yeah. in each one. But I mean, with, our group is kind of small. We got like seven people, maybe eight if someone else comes to play okay. with us. Um, but when we get out, you know, obviously the first thing anybody says is like, mariachi, mariachi, and mariachi loco, get it. It's fucking annoying, dude. Cause it's like, there's more songs out there. Yeah. You know? That's the only one they know, bro. It's like this the one. Only... No. Stop no. with the mariachi yeah. loco. Like, so that's the first pet peeve. And that brings me to the second one where like, anytime someone hires us, I don't think they understand how long an hour is. Like, oh uh, yeah. Cause like the hires, it's more annoying when it's like the hires for two hours, yeah, and they run out of rep in the first three songs. <laughs> so we'll get there. They want mañanitas for sure because it's like yeah. happy birthday, birthday to yeah. to your five year old daughter who doesn't know songs. So <laughs> so we play we play mañanitas for her. We play you know something like that. Then una pa bailar, no sea like for everybody to dance. Yeah. So we'll play. They'll say Maria Chilo, and we we play it. We played those two. We've now finished 10 minutes. What the fuck do we do for you the rest of What's next? Yeah. Because yeah. we tell them, well, cual quieren, cual quieren. Because we're that type of group. There's, ponle, we are also a group that caters to the audience. Yeah. So there's yeah. a lot of mariachis out there that will show up. They'll play what they know. And that's it. You know, some people will be like, you know, canta esta, you know, esta de José Alfredo, whatever. And they don't know it because they just... They're not that type of group. They have their set list, and that's it. Yeah. You know? We give you a fucking list. <laughs> Stick yeah. to that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Repeat if you have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We've Stick had those to two. the script. Damn. Yeah, we've had those two, which is actually better, because if they have a list, okay, we just go off the list, and we'll play that, and then, we're, you know, they're happy. Yeah. But then there's people that don't know what the fuck they want, so then we play, and then, like I said, 10 minutes go by, and then we're like, okay, cual quieren, cual quieren, and they're like... So I took in, like you said, I'm like, bro, there's like oh 10,000 fucking 30,000 mariachi songs out there. What do you want us to play? The one, that one. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll start playing that uh, a piece of something. Like, yes, yes, yes. I'm like, well, yeah, sure. He, he's yeah. just tuning his yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. God damn. So like, that's another one where I'm just like. Come they prepared. Don't, yeah, they don't know what they want. Yeah. Like they, some, uh, We've said this a lot too. We, people like the idea of having a mariachi. Yeah. Uh, maybe they feel like they have to because they're Mexican, so they're all like, yeah, yeah. "No, nah, we need a mariachi, bro. We need a mariachi." And then we get there, and they're like, "Okay, what's on?" They're like, "Uh," I'm like, you didn't, <laughs> "I'm like, you didn't, you didn't want us. You just wanted a mariachi playlist. Like, just fucking, just I, I'll connect your phone sing. right now, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'll do it for you. You know." <laughs> I'm like, I, I tell can, you, they sound way better. Yeah, like, this just recorded, bro. Like, and you don't even got to yell at them. And you, you, know? can, <laughs> yeah. you can repeat it if you want to. Yeah. Lower but, it down. Yeah. You, this you, karaoke you, playlist yeah. if you want yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> God, but that's like my second pet peeve. People that, that hire my itches don't, don't know what the fuck to do with them. It's yeah. fucking annoying. Um, <laughs> like, come on, do something. Yeah, they're, I'm just <laughs> like, dude, we're doing our best. You know? Drum. I know, yeah. I know you got songs. Come on. Yeah. 
Yeah, and the other one, I guess, is just people, uh, or uh, another client one is, like, people don't understand that we're also humans. Like, mm-hmm. um, we'll go to play at a place, mm-hmm. right? And then you would think that, I mean, like, you guys, I, I put you guys, like, if you guys are my guests, I'm like, okay, you know, you guys can sit here or whatever. Like, I'm not going to put you guys in the direct sunlight. You know how hot it is right oh, now? Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's 100 nah, and something bro. degrees out of every day. You know, you guys seen a traje yeah. de charro, right? Oh, yeah. I know. It's, it's a, a big thick. ass fucking pajama. Like, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's like a coat, you know, on top of another coat. You know, you got uh, and work, tight. This yeah. and, and it's made of polyester, which heats up. Yeah. You know, we, we wear we wear boots that are botines. The top is like um, they're shiny. That shit, if you the put sun it, hits. dude, it's basically like wearing skillets on your fucking <laughs> yeah. leg, on, on your feet. Like it's like the, they yeah. heat up, you know. So when we're playing, people don't care. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, just go right there in that little corner. And, and it's happened many times before where they'll just put us in direct sunlight. You know, they'll they'll be in mandones, meaning like they'll, they want this, they want this, they want this, they want this. Yeah. Not ever do they think like, oh, maybe they're thirsty or maybe uh, maybe they're hungry. Maybe they're hungry. <laughs> like they don't think about this. Yeah. They, they think that because they're paying us that we now own you for this next hour. You're their pets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's it's very annoying because it's like, bro, like you would. You're treating us worse than dogs. Like, at least the dogs over there got a fucking water bowl. Yeah. And, <laughs> Tortilla. Yeah. yeah. You're fucking throwing them a little piece of carne, you know, like. You're over you know, there fighting the dog for giving yeah, me this like, shit. Yeah, dude. I'm like, give me this shit. Right you know? there, Pinche Fido Liza. Pinche drinking Ozarka, bro. You're, you're giving us fucking, you know, great value. Tap water. Yeah. Yeah. La mangueta. La mangueta. <laughs> you're thirsty. There's that mangueta right yeah, there. That's just kind of good, actually. Yeah. So, for those of you listening. Yeah. For those of you listening. Feed your local mariachi player. Yeah, dude. It's it, not even. No, They're don't humans even, too. Don't even feed us. <laughs> Just give us water, bro. Yeah. Like, because then the other one is too. Like, I'm not much of a drinker, right? Yeah. Like, but mariachis also have that stereotype yeah. of being, you know, drink. straight up mariachi. Mm-hmm. And like, I like to think that our group is very like respectful. We go there. We only drink if people offer it to us. Like, they'll come up to us and I'm like, "Can I chela, okay?" And we're like, "Yeah, fuck it," you know. And then, or they'll bring a tequila bottle. Those are the best clients because, yeah. like, not because we want the tequila, but <laughs> it just shows that they no, appreciate you. No les duele. Yeah. You know, no son culeros where yeah. they're all like, nah, bro, give me that shit. Then you get the mariachi. This locos. is my bucana. Yeah. That's when you get the mariachi locos. Yeah. Those pinches like, codos. Uh, yeah, ellos no les duele, way. They're just like, no, nah, fucking eat, drink, whatever the yeah. fuck you want. You know, those are the best, you know, because. You get tell those people like grew up right, you know they yeah. know that they're because we are also guests at the end of the day. Like we're yeah. here, we're trying to make we're as, as a we're celebrating with them. Yeah, we're celebrating with you. When if anything, we're 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 the party. You know, we're yeah. we're bringing music yeah. to your party. Uh, so many times where like a dead ass party, you know, comes alive whenever a mariachi comes in because it's like if it's a good mariachi, they'll play whatever you want and, and they'll cater to any, mm-hmm. everything that you guys are talking about. Um, but like I said, there's clients out there that are son culeros. You know, they tell you to play, be out there in the sun. They won't give a fuck about you. And then at the end of the, everything, they're all like, they still want like the last song. And it's like, motherfucker, like, oh, already, fuck your hour you're already, is up. You're already packing up. Like, yeah. no, 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 throw, throw, throw. Bro, like, I look like, fuck, you know those red salchichas? Yeah. The, ones oh, the, the red links. Yeah, the, the red links. links. That's what my skin looks like. Yeah. So we're just fucking sizzling it on the side, you know? And and that's, I guess you could say that's my pet peeves. It's just people that don't care. They think they own you and stuff like that. But uh, there's a lot of things. And we, and we get into it in the podcast because, like, I would have been like, here's your money yeah, back. Man, I bet you like, just vent, bro. Every every yeah. week, I mean, you, but not to say that we always get bad clients. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. we get really fucking badass clients that they'll give you fucking, they'll give you a tip. Their they'll, daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say they give you the tip, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they give you their tip. <laughs> no, but like, it, <laughs> like on it. it <laughs> Throw your fucking bone. Yeah. Nah, um, Chew no, on this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, man. Sometimes you get like really cool people, and honestly, like with the group that I'm with, like we we've been very lucky that my boss is like one of the best bosses I, I would say in, B- in DFW, bro. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. like I said, like there's the bosses out here that like get their musicians and they take advantage of them and stuff like that. But my boss, shout out to him, like he. I've worked with them the last ten years, and like I've never had an issue. You know, he always pays yeah, me yeah, on bro. time. Yeah. You know. And and he cares about us like to the point to where he like we're friends like we're good friends I've gone, I've gone to his wedding and shit like that yeah and those are the best like mariachis the ones that are actually like Almost friends like with family. each other yeah. Yeah, yeah it really is like that like you know like uh, you'll invite them to your party because it's like these guys are cool like they're not just like work friends yeah you know? they're they're good people okay. how much do y'all charge by the way uh, I think right now what we charge an hour is six fifty for an hour yeah. and it's like seven of us seven yeah. eight of us yeah they go out there. And we're honestly, it, 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 it used to be cheaper back in the day. I mean, with inflation, and everything, mm-hmm. everything goes up. 
But there's mariachis out here that you'll get like the <laughs> whole. <laughs> <laughs> we inflated some. Yeah, yeah dude. A little bit more. Uh, oh, yeah. The, that traje will humble you, bro. <laughs> you'll put it on for two weeks and you're like, damn, I've been eating like shit. You know, like. That's <laughs> where this button yeah. buttoned up. You're, you're, you're putting on your pants like a girl. You're just nah, jiggling yeah. and then jump. Nah, yeah, bro. Put baby powder. I could, put that, I could put that on OnlyFans, bro. Like, straight up, dude. Squeeze them cheeks to try and put them in there. Shit, yeah. <laughs> I love mariachis show up with the fucking pants on button because ya no cabe. Ya no cabe, dude. <laughs> hey, we all been there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> after after a long day of, of mariaching, it just yeah. mariaching, it's just a yeah. wet, uh, soft, yeah. soggy fucking. No man, it's not pretty, dude. Like, <laughs> swamp ass. After like swamp, swamp ass, <laughs> yeah. he like that me. Nobody told me. I smell like, like shit. <laughs> like fuck it. <laughs> like the traje de charro yeah. looks per. No, you know, like you know, you look badass. Yeah. Right? You're mariachi, right? But. It ain't pretty when you get home. He said though. I had four hot dogs. Take all that shit off. <laughs> you got With fucking, chili. Yeah, you just smell like fucking sweat and tequila, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and fucking someone's like, like funky ass carne asada that they were yeah. making. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fucking, oh, in the in tiempo de frío, in el tiempo de frío, yeah. like when it's cold, um, everybody's got a fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So oh, it's like, like smoke. We smell like fucking leña, dude. Yeah. Like, so oh, the fucking time. I get home and I smell like a fucking barbecue place. And I'm like, fuck, man. Your like, wife's like, mm. no. <laughs> I'm hungry now, babe. <laughs> My dog's just like, <laughs> 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 where were you? Yeah, dude, fucking loves that shit. Like, he didn't take me, you bitch. Yeah, <laughs> I hate this shit. When uh, you, yeah. when you're, whenever you come home and your dog's all out in your like, business. Well, yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They poke yeah. you with their nose yeah. and shit. Yeah, They're like, dude. Wet ass nose. Yeah, yeah it gets wet for some reason. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck is up with your nose, bro? <laughs> gets him excited. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, yeah, man. That's I mean, Mariachi is like a like it's like anything, you know. Like uh, I, I like to think it's like my, it's it's been like my side hustle for the longest. Mm, like it's yeah. it's been something that I've been doing for. But like I, I always tell my my partner who's also in the in on the podcast, like we both do it because we like it. Like at the end of the day, there's people that. Uh, work mariachi as a, as like their main income. Like they yeah, yeah. they dedicate their lives to. It. They play Monday through fucking Sunday, dude. Like they play every single day. You know, me personally, I'm not built like that. I'm yeah. like I'm Mexican, but not that Mexican. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like these fuckers, yeah, they they be they dedicate their whole life to it. But me, it's like a weekend thing. You yeah. know, like I have before I worked as a teacher, I worked at a car dealership. That's what that was my nine to five. You know, mm-hmm. Monday through Friday. And then once I got to teaching, uh, I kind of was at a point where I was like, man, man. Maybe I should stop, you know. But it uh, to this point, it hasn't it hasn't gone to the point where I'm like I can't do both. Yeah, that's and, good. That's and a it's good medium. honestly, it's because I mean I don't want to stop mm-hmm. because I like it. I mean the money's good and the experience is always cool, man. Like uh, I've never been to a at a point where I'm like, man, fuck my nature. Like I hate this. Shit. <laughs> like uh, if, it's always been a love kind of thing. Like I I, I, I like doing it and I keep doing it because I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want to stop one day, obviously, but like it would have to be like at a point where like. So the wheels fall off. Yeah, shit. A, yeah you know, but um, honestly, like it's it's a, the kind of thing that you can keep doing over yeah. and over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's it really is like a hobby, but it's also like a, uh, like a passion, I guess. You could Absolutely, say. bro. Yeah, bro. What's what's like the craziest story that you have? Craziest? Yeah. What up to like find like <laughs> craziest on uh, It could be like your scariest like. Encounter, encounter? Yeah. or like uh, he's like shit, the wildest <laughs> encounter. Well, it's or? not. It's not really like wild. I mean, people people always say like there's been fights and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, there, um, you guys, the last time that there was kind of like a fight was because some motherfucker. Uh, so like we do this thing called talon. Mm-hmm. Talon is basically like we <clears throat> we play at a place uh, like a restaurant for like an hour three or this one particularly we play like three hours, mm-hmm. and they'll pay us like a base pay and like mm-hmm. they're like they pay you for just being there. But they also, people give us tips and we, we take that too. But once we're done with our three hour like set, we'll go around and we'll play like uh, by table. Yeah. We'll play like $20. Uh, every song is 20 bucks. So like, hey, you want a song? 20 bucks. And it's just been like that. Well, there's this one motherfucker that was there and um, at the, at the plant, we, they're called plantas. It's a yeah. restaurant, but we call them plantas. They're like, okay. that's where you base your op- operation. Where you planted it. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, we played for this dude. He asked for like, more than five songs, I think he he owed us over a hundred something Holy dollars. Yeah, um, and at the end he was like, "No, nah, I'm not gonna pay because it was funny because this was um, the violinist that came. It was his first time there, his first gig. Yeah. And he happens to be uh, my my sister's boyfriend. Like he started playing with yeah. us, and my sister was there, you know. But like during the set, he was like singing to her. I don't know if this guy was drunk or what the fuck, but he thought he was like, "Nah, this motherfucker was just singing to her the whole time." I'm like, bro. 
that was an hour ago. Like, like we were playing for you this whole fucking time. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, mean like yeah. you're bringing up old shit. But that he used that as an excuse to like, like, nah, fuck that. Like, we're I'm not gonna pay y'all or whatever. So we're like, we're not like the type to to like get into problems. Yeah. Um, and my boss isn't like that either. So like, he just said, all right, like next time you come, we just won't fucking p- play for you anymore, basically. So he's just, and then the guy was like, no, I don't want to pay because of this, because of this, and this. And he's like, no, no, I'm hearing you. Like, if you don't want, if you don't want to pay, it's whatever. And so he, he, the other guy started getting frustrated. So he kind of pushed him. Now, granted, we're fucking playing. We're already playing for like another table. So like this yeah. was going on in the background. I just remember like I, I saw like a push and I was like, like te prende, you know, you're like, oh yeah. shit, like this shit real, you know, put down the vihuela off fucking quick. Like, oh fuck, what the fuck is up? <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck is up, Kyle? You know, yeah. like, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Kyle. <laughs> you know, so like it got real, real quick just because they started pushing each other. But I already knew this. This is the type of dude was like drunk. Yeah. One yeah. swing, the dude's out, you know, but like he just wanted to escalate shit. But it's never really gotten to that point where we'd have to fight or anything like that. But we're ready, you know, because yeah. I mean. I'm like, dude, you got one. We got fucking eight dudes here. Yeah. <laughs> like, and none of us fights yeah. alone. Yeah. <laughs> We're all fucking pussy. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> like, yeah. No, but like, yeah. We're, Hold us <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah. <80 odds>. <laughs> <laughs> like telling someone, like, hold me back, bro. Like, oh, you lucky yeah. he holding me back. Bro, ain't nobody holding <laughs> ain't you back. Nobody <laughs> holding you <laughs> back. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I mean, I, that's like the crazy. I guess you can say crazy. I mean, there's obviously other shit, but I can't really like. There's just been so Pain much, point, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, that's usually what people ask about. Hey, bro, y'all been in fights and shit? I'm like, not really. I mean, never gets to that point because we're not that type. I mean, I've heard of other people doing shit like that. Yeah. People, oh, people like, they're fighting against each other because, like, they don't get paid and shit like that. Like I said, my boss has been really cool about that. Like, we've never had issues. But, mm-hmm. like, I've heard of other mariachis. Yeah, they just fight the boss, bro. They're like, where's my money? <laughs> and they'll just <laughs> fucking duke it out right there. I'm like, God damn. And still to get, don't get no money? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, dude. Not you know? only did you not get money, you got your <laughs> ass <laughs> whooped. Yeah, <laughs> dude. How embarrassing, right? Like, <laughs> boy, like, sales quebrado y, y quebrado yeah, también. Yeah. Like, no, you didn't yeah. pay me, so I fought him. And he beat your ass? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but I but I tried. Yeah, but I tried. That's all that matters. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, but man, the Marichi world is crazy, man. Like it's it's that's why we wanted to document it. You know, like, yeah. it's, it's it gives us an opportunity to do that because really before this podcast, I can say that it hasn't really been out there as much. You it's know like I mean? world star from Marichi. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. It just it's just kind of like a diary for us. Yeah. You know? Like talk about what happened the last week and then bring up little shit. But even then, we don't only talk about Marichi. Like. We always end up talking about, like, you know, how we grew up and, mm-hmm. and you know, our experiences in life, too. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's relatable because, I mean, we're all fucking Mexican-American. Yeah. Human. yeah. yeah. I guess yeah. The, the last episode I listened to you was, like, whenever you had went to Mexico, I think. Mexico? Yeah. Yeah. And you were, like, talking about your experience. Oh, yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> I had taken my wife for the first time. Yeah. yeah like, she, she had never gone, so it was it was a cool experience because, like, she don't even know about Mexico, you know? Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she, so I kind of, like, showed her everything, and I, I was like, You're yeah. You're from uh, San Luis, too, right? Yeah, well, San Luis, Querétaro area. Yeah, yeah it's, okay. like, right on the freaking border. But it was cool, because, like, for so many years, I'm like, oh, this is where I'd, I would do this, this, and this. And she, she never had a way to relate to that, you know? Yeah. She had never been there. But the whole time I was over there, yeah, busting my ass over there. And then <laughs> I got on the roof there, you know. So it was like kind of cool for, yeah. for her to see that shit. To live yeah. your little childhood memories. Yeah, dude. Yeah, like, like, this shit looks boring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, remember, I remember when me and my uncles would just chill outside for no reason, just talking and shit for like hours and hours yeah. and hours. No, I told, I told her too, like uh, when I was, I was trying to prepare her for the trip, I'm like, hey, like this ain't no fucking... Instagram, fucking Mexico, like girl in Cancun type shit, you know. Yeah, like, this is, this is Mexico. real Mexico. We live in the fucking mountains, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, and los cerros? Yeah, and los pinches cerros. You yeah, know, like, we we you, did too. You're going to get there and you're going to be like, well, now what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, she, she, the first thing she says is like, hey, they got donkeys here. I'm like, yeah, they're just fucking running around. I don't know whose donkey that is, but it's walking around. You know? <laughs> get, get on it. <laughs> yeah, you can get on it. I mean, you can take it home if you want. Um, it's yours for, now. I bought yeah. it for you. <laughs> yeah. You like that burro? Just yeah. impress her. Be like, that's yours now, baby. Yeah. Like, <laughs> nah. I, I see someone's like, ah. You see yeah. that dog right there? That's your dog. That's your dog. <laughs> and the whole I'm, town's. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you see this terreno right here? I just bought it. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking dirt, dude. That's like butt dirt. I'm There's like, nah, five you, dogs outside, babe. Yeah, yeah. they're all called feudal lice. Yeah. <laughs> bro, there's so Never many. Less. There's so many stray dogs oh. in Mexico. Yeah, now, dude. I, I it, like I told it's her. I was like, you sad. can't. Like they're all strays, you know, stuff like that. And she fell back because she likes animals. So yeah. I'm like, so some of them are real skinny. I'm like, 
they just eat fucking tortillas over here. Like, you know, there's Whatever no the fucking, the there's fucking no fucking ground. chewy here, yeah. you know? Like, <laughs> 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 it's not chewy. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck you think this is? Like, you know, like, chewy doesn't even make yeah. it. For real, bro. The, <laughs> only, the only chewy is the one that's sitting in the corner. Yeah. They, they only have, have they only have yeah. picture. Don't, don't chewy. Don't you know? chewy. He's 87. Like, talk to him. <laughs> He's got a lot of stories, you know? So how was uh, the founder of uh, Chewy? What, gay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pinche yeah. perro nada la verga. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but it was just cool because like she got to like meet a whole other side of of me, really. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's, that's cool. where I would go every summer as a kid, you know. And and now I get to, I got to kind of share, you know, with her a little bit. And a lot of people was like I said, like they listen to the pod. They're Mexican American, so mm-hmm. some of them like their parents don't take them to Mexico. Yeah, they only know here. Yeah, they don't even speak Spanish, you know. And so like I I try to like kind of like put shit like that in there too because it's like. At the end of the day, we're all like kind of living the same life in some way. Yeah, you know, like all of us over here, like we're uh, someone like we're Mexican American, and I'm not sure how you guys were in y'all schools, you know, and stuff like that. But like um, everybody at my school was like mostly Mexican American, yeah, you know. Pretty much. So like it's that's why I say <laughs> that's why I say it's such a culture shock when you go to somewhere like a university because yeah. like nobody looks like you. Yeah, nobody looks yeah. like you. So like you can kind of feel like. Yeah, like, I, I don't Outcast think I'm supposed it. to... Yeah. Can't yeah. relate. So, like, bro. meeting this dude, I'm like, oh, damn, there's, like, people <laughs> outside. Otro frijol. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Otro pinche frijol. He's all the nopal and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, back then, you got you had the glasses and everything. Yeah, yeah. You didn't have as much beard either. Nah, you look, yeah. You That's a, yeah. Less. They saw Hella the, different, yeah. huh? Yeah. yeah we I, saw the ugly side of them. That's yeah. What, yeah. All, I, all shapes and forms. Yeah. That's funny, because I, 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 right now that I called you, um, I have a contact picture for you. And it's uh this one time we went to like uh Jones Dining. Remember jo- Jones yeah, Dining? Yeah. yeah. You had taken a picture with like some some girl like walking. What? Like, and she, yeah, but like she was like walking by and her teeth were like out and you like wrote it on Snapchat. She was like this thought ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Look, bro, just call me. I remember that. Call me right now. Call me right now. Oh shit. We're about to show this. Yeah. I wonder who it is, dude. Fun's like, uh, Fun's so scared funny, right now. Dude. Like, I forgot that I had that as my as my contact picture. This thought as me. Yeah, look. Oh, you can't fucking see it. No, it's, but you can. You can case it. It's like you, but in the bag it just says like this thought as me. Oh yeah, yeah but I remember there. that, I but I don't see. remember. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, I'll, show you you up, I'll show y'all right you, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was just funny because I was like, damn, like I still had, like I still. Had, <laughs> 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 I was so stupid too. I went to college and became a totally different person. Oh yeah. Oh, did y'all know him before? Before? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I know since elementary. Yeah. I've known him since forever, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's badass though school. because yeah. you guys understand each other like at a different level. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, I, I mean, I only met him in college. You know, he was a guy from Fort Worth, and even then, we, I think we talked a lot because we were in the in the dorm. And then after that, I know that you went towards a fraternity. Yeah. yeah. Music menu, right? Yeah, yeah, music menu. And then I didn't become fraternity until like my junior year. It mm-hmm. was a long time later. Um, not what, the same one, but another one. Another one, yeah. Join? Yeah. Uh, OD5 or Omega Delta, yeah. Um, Omega Delta Phi, yeah. where we're like culturally diverse, but it's only all Mexicans and one black dude. One, <laughs> like two white dudes. <laughs> that counts. That counts. <laughs> and it counts, you know. It makes us diverse, you know. Token yeah. black. <laughs> yeah, it really <laughs> like We got one of, black guy and that a black guy. Token. It, it's, oh, it's not like a token. It's more like we tried getting them, but you look... You go to the events and it's like fucking nopales everywhere, yeah. you know. You know, you, it's it's it, it's hard to. They market. talk to the black guy. White guy's like, I got lost, bro. And they yeah. just, they just, they took, just me took me in. <laughs> yeah, we had we had two white dudes and they like they stuck out, bro. Like, you know, but, <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, but it was cool, you know. You got to meet other people, you know, from and I, and I still, yeah. I'm sure you are too with like your fraternity, yeah, you know, yeah. people that you probably would have never met, you know, absolutely, like, bro. Outside of that, yeah. and I, I was telling, uh, I don't know if I told them, but. Or uh, another friend of mine, but I was just mm-hmm. talking about this recently. But there's a lot of people that I met over there that yeah. I s- had somehow connection over here. Yeah. Okay. Fucking wild. Yeah. No, it was funny because I was just thinking about you like uh, earlier. Aww. Aww. Yeah, like, <laughs> on, some, on some cute shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Start ass bitch. <laughs> dude, this shit's so funny. I need to find that picture, dude. It's so good. Um, uh, no, but yeah, it was funny because I was thinking about him the other day because I was like, uh, <laughs> I had met him I had met him obviously in school and we talked a little bit but like he was very trusting of me I remember you remember when he let me borrow your truck yeah dude, I was like really trusting with a lot of people yeah he, which now looking back it probably wasn't a good idea <laughs> but like I was very appreciative that's because what happened was uh, who ended up being my wife so I mean it ended up being good I guess mm-hmm. uh, yeah, he helped him out yeah yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It was, I, on some cute shit I was like yeah, yeah uh, I, was, I wanted to go to A&M which was like two hours away so I didn't have a car. It was my freshman year. Yeah. And I had asked him because I remember he had a truck. I was like, hey, man, like, 
I'm trying to go like to A and M to visit my girl for Valentine's Day or whatever. Like, and he real quick was like, "Well, you can use my truck." And I was like, <laughs> "Damn, I didn't even have to ask." Like, have to <laughs> ask, but go yeah, ahead. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like he like bro, my like, lonely ass. <laughs> well, I don't have a Valentine's. So <laughs> you can take me. <laughs> <laughs> I like, can I can go? Come, can, can I go? come, bro? Everybody there is named Bailey or your Kelly or something. You know, <laughs> Bailey, <laughs> Haley, Taylor. <laughs> Caitlin, Taylor, Caitlin, yeah. Caitlin and Caitlin. Oh, yeah. All differently spelled. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that ends at the end is an I, like Tammy, you know, Cammy. Tammy Lynn. <laughs> yeah. Caitlin. Tammy Lynn. <laughs> Goddamn. Uh, uh, but yeah, he let me do that, and that was really cool of him. I don't even remember that. You step on the campus, then, you just and go leather. And then I was thinking about afterwards, uh, you, you remember Zamir, right? Yeah. You remember? Yeah. yeah. You remember where you when you towed his ass? Yeah. You remember that? You had like that big ass black truck. And yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one time he went. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. We went to some. He went to some concert. I didn't even. I think I. I hadn't even <laughs> talked to Zamir, but he went to some walking concert. I think yeah. there at the square, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then uh, his car fucking broke. His Tahoe his, like died, yeah. his, and then uh, he um, <laughs> we called him because he had that big ass fucking truck. Yeah. And I remember that he like towed his Tahoe all the way to my, my apartment. I think. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Like it was fucking <laughs> wild. I remember we just thinking like, who has a big ass truck? It's just like <laughs> Juan, you know. And he came out there for that. I was like, damn man, like Juan's cool man. Like he, we didn't even have to like. Yeah, he like real quick was like, yeah, I'll, I'll go out there. So I was like, yeah. yeah, he's a good guy, man. He's a, he's a good friend. Yeah, he's a real good guy. I, uh, honestly, I wouldn't do that for most people. Like, yeah, I, I guess now. <laughs> Yeah, because now you I, think about I learned, it, you're like, I I learned it the this. hard way, or yeah. like like later in life, like yeah. not to trust any like yeah, everybody. For sure, for sure. Because with Sammy and Zamir, like I got along with them quick. Yeah, we were like good friends, and like uh, we never had like any bad instance. Mm. Yeah, that's what I loved. And yeah. then other and the other side, you would meet people who were cool at first, and then it, you saw the dark side. Oh, of for sure. And oh, then yeah. I was like, well, yeah. I'm glad I wouldn't trust that person. Like, yeah, that, you yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. And so you see facts. that a lot, man. And again, and that's why like it's kind of cool that you guys know each other. Yeah. Since elementary, like, yeah. oh, they do. I know them from high school. Well, even yeah. then, way, yeah, even then, though, like, time. Like, high school, it, fuck, it's sad to say, it was like yeah. ten years ago, bro. Yeah. So like, it's Jeez. he's it's the same, uh, same, uh, yeah, year. yeah. We're all, well, yeah, thirteen, I was yeah, thirteen 10 years, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, <laughs> at this point, you know, like anybody that you meet is like usually later in life, yeah. you know, like. um I don't talk to everybody from fucking high school, yeah. especially in middle school, dude. you know, oh, yeah. you know, and, and, and the most recent friends I made was like in college, you know, mm-hmm. obviously. And, but everyone that you meet is, is, is later on in life yeah. mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So that's what, that's what I was saying. Like, that's why I pointed out Jose. Cause yeah. he was like, Oh, I didn't know you knew Zamir. I'm like, yeah. how the fuck do you know Zamir, <laughs> yeah. bro? Fort Worth, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause uh, I had, I had saw him at uh, one of my homeboys taco truck and he pulls oh, up, okay. he's like grizzly. And I was like, Zamir, because <laughs> I met him once. Oh and yeah, it's like I remembered him. I was like, yeah, this motherfucker looked familiar. And Did you like, meet yeah. him through me? Yeah. Oh okay. Long time ago, huh? Yeah, long time ago. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. Fuck Zamir. I think we were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know him. <laughs> Don't bend <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Fuck Zamir. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? He's pretty cool, though, bro. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, yeah he's like cool. uh, it's funny because like he was the only at the time when I went to school. Man, like I said, people don't don't didn't even go to if anybody went to college. It was like TCC. Or like or some of the bigger schools, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, so like yeah. when a lot of people didn't in my year when we graduated, only three people went to Texas State, and it was me, Zamir, and this uh, other girl. Mm-hmm. But we didn't really talk to her or anything, you know. So when we were out there, like it really did feel like we were the only. Yeah, bro. Bro, when we went to orientation, yeah. like we went to we went to <laughs> orientation, and we didn't know we were supposed to bring our parents. Like, <laughs> for real? like <laughs> we show up, bro. Me and Zamir, we're both short. You yeah. know, and he looks like, you know, he has a big ass beard. You yeah. know, yeah. he looked grown. Dude. Yeah, he, he looked grown ass man, you know, yeah. like, and then yo to pinche mequillo, you know, <laughs> all fucking first year, like fucking freshman. I'm trying to be, all, I'm all excited and shit. Yeah. Uh, but just going out there, uh, I, I, everybody that was there was there with their fucking parents. People had their dog, bro, like out there. Yeah, I'm like, bro. what the fuck? <laughs> and then we're going to all these events. I'm like, yeah, and you know, this is a good place for you to bring your parents. And I'm just looking at the mirror like, like, damn, like we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I think from my high school, I was the, if not the only or yeah. one of the only, like to go to, to Texas State. Yeah. Of my, uh, of 2013, I think. Yeah. Because I, I remember asking our counselor, I was like, who else is going? And he's like, like, no one. Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and everybody gave me shit for going. To, did people give you shit for going yeah. to Texas State? Yeah. Well, they, a lot of people didn't know the school. They didn't know Texas State. Well, I meant like like counselors and teachers were all oh, like, no, no, were all no. like congratulations, <laughs> no, no, no. congratulations for going to Texas State. But like, it's a party school. It's a drinking school. I'm like, 
Every fucking school is like yeah, that. Yeah. Exactly. TCU yeah. that has Christian in their name yeah. is fucking the raging C, the every C day. For Coke. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know that shit. I'm Texas up, Coke so University. Is that it? I'm gonna update I'm gonna update my contacts. Again. But like that's Texas what I'm, Coke University. I fucking, I fucking hated that shit. They always had that stereotype yeah, of like, know. I'm just trying to go to school, right? And and I've always told everybody, I'm like, school is what you make it. Yeah. If you're a fucking idiot and you decide to party every fucking day and you flunk, that's on you. You know, like, <laughs> Juan. You know. Exactly. <laughs> but, like, but like that's what I'm saying. You could do that at a and You could do yeah. that at UT. UT is a fucking college. It's not yeah. Ivy League. It's nothing. It's just because yeah. it's, it's just, fucking orange. Who exactly. gives a fuck, yeah. you know? Yeah. But, like, it's it's just a school. It's just yeah, literally absolutely. a school. School is what you make of it. Yep. You, so when you go out there, I mean, you can graduate in the four years. You you know, you do your shit and you get out of there, you know, but like everybody gave me shit because they're like, oh, it's a drinking school. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And so is your fucking school. Yeah. Like, well, it's okay. a drinking school. Okay. I'm but, thirsty. Yeah. But that, that's <laughs> I'm just thirsty. I, yeah. <laughs> that's what I was going to ask you. Like, yeah. how was the transition? Because you went from completely like Northside mm-hmm. uh, Mariachi to Texas State not Mariachi. And I remember you telling me like, it's not that great. Like, I remember you telling me it wasn't that cool. Oh, um, well, I mean, uh, so, like, I only played here at the at the high school mariachi, and I did, uh, like, competitions, shit like that, like, for, for the school. And then when I came to Texas State, it was kind of cool because I got into the state mariachi, which is the, the, the school mariachi. So, like, I represented Texas State University, mm-hmm. which was pretty mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. And I was playing yeah. vihuela, so I was, like, the, this is a little guitar, so yeah. I was, like, the only person representing Texas State because of that. And it was cool. But... The only disadvantage of going to Texas State and going to San Marcos is that the the area that we were in is nowhere like this nowhere. area, like as far as work goes. So yeah. like when I was in school and, and in college, like I was poor, bro. Like yeah. there was no gigs. I was only playing at school, which they don't pay you for that shit. Yeah. Um, everything like that was either like going out to some gig here and there. I mean, they would pay me like 50, 60 bucks or whatever for the hour. But if it was only one hour, I was like making like 50, 60, yeah. maybe $100 yeah. a week, you mm-hmm. know? And like, I've yeah. never had a job other than now that I have big boy jobs, right? But yeah. Yeah. before that, like, I've never worked at a fast food or like a fucking, I don't know, <clears throat> vacuum company. I've never worked like an actual job. Evans. So it was always my itch. <laughs> Evans. Evans vacuum. Evans David. vacuum. Oh, that place? Yeah. yeah. It's a fucking front. Yeah. It's a front. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they shut that shit down. Yeah. yeah. I saw that. But like, uh, so like down there, there was just no room for me to play like and, and go out to gigs and stuff like that. So like that first freshman year was hard, dude. Because yeah. um, I mean, you're paying for a fucking dorm, meal plan, all that shit. And I mean, my parents always told me like they could help me, you know, but like. Maybe this is a Mexican pride thing, but I was just like, I want to do this shit myself, you know? Yeah. So I would fucking pinch pennies, dude, to try to, like, do my best to, like, stay afloat. It wasn't until after that that I found, I found work, like, here and there, like, playing mariachi gigs here and there, but it was nothing like here. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, for the first maybe two years, like I said, the only one that I was kind of cool was, like, Juan and some other people around there. But, like, for, like, maybe the first two years, I, I, I didn't like going to school. Because, like, like I said, nobody, I, you can't relate to anybody there. Yeah. All I could think about was like, man, I could have gone UNT. I would have still been working in the area. I would have fucking not been worrying about money. I could have been around with my friends. Mm-hmm. But like, the more I thought of it, I was like, I mean, I kind of had to get out to kind of experience what it's like to be somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. It took two years. And then, like, I met, obviously, I met a lot of people through the fraternity. But like, it wasn't until after, like, I kind of let go of the stigma of like, no, nah, like, I should have gone over there. Once I finally, like, let go and said, like, well, I'm here, like, let's make the best of it. And that's when, like, I really enjoyed my years at, at Texas State. Like, after that, like, now, like, there are times where, like, I'm a fucking miss that place. Like, yeah, it's, I, I miss it, it, dude. And it's because, like, honestly, Texas State, fucking commercial and shit. Yeah. Texas, State, <laughs> yeah, Texas State is a great school, bro. Like, um, yeah. like it really feels like when you're when you're walking around there, it feels like fo- like Hogwarts. It does, bro. It does. Like, I, it doesn't I, feel yeah. like I've gone to a and I've gone to UT, I've gone to, like, all these other schools. And when you're walking like down the quad and going towards Old Main and everything, it just looks fucking pretty. Like yeah. it looks pretty yeah. as fuck. It like, really does. They completely even, different vibe. Even like uh, so, one of my uh, friends, his his uh, uncle's a director, mm. and he shot some film there, right? At at uh, Texas State, he shot some some yeah. film there, and when they input it into the movie, they put it as it was UT. Huh, yeah, because uh, yeah. because UT's like not that pretty looking, yeah, and it's UT, in the middle of like it's downtown. in the middle of downtown. Uh, you feel like you're at some fucking corporate office. Yeah, I'm like, so it's packed and it doesn't look good. 
So they use Texas State because of how pretty and natural it looks. Like, like you feel <laughs> like you're at an actual like college campus. Yeah, like it's you're walking cool. around and it just feels cool. Like yeah. you go to UT and you don't know if you're in downtown or you're at the school. And then you could get run over because you fucking <laughs> like, <laughs> like straight up, bro. Like it's just like when you go there, it just has a completely different feel. Like there's a bunch of hills everywhere. Oh. It fucking humbles you because you got to use oh, the yeah. stairs on everywhere. Yeah, like everywhere. You, oh, got, yeah. you got badass calves and shit. Like you're just walking <laughs> everywhere. And for like, I've been wearing boots for like the longest because they, they made me taller. Yeah. But like, <laughs> so like when I would walk around Texas State, they'd be like, "You don't get tired of my dude." I've been doing this for years. Like I'm good. You know? I'm but used like, to it. Yeah, I'd just be the fucking. The back soles all ripped yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, um, in general, like I, uh, it took me a while to like kind of open up uh, a little bit at that school. But once I did, like it, it really felt better. Cause, like, it changed everything. It really changed everything. Yeah. yeah. Now, like it yeah, actually yeah. is a place that I like. I miss. It's a, it's a good, a good school. It's your second home. Yeah, it really is. I mean, now I can't really say that because, I mean, you kind of realize little by little everybody has moved on. I mean, mm-hmm. all your friends have graduated or graduated, dropped out. Graduated, dropped out, um, or, or still there but not doing anything. Not doing anything. <laughs> They've moved what? back to, you know, yeah. their... Yeah, they move back to like their. Well, a lot of them stay there because they don't want to move back to their town because yeah. they know what it's like to be in their yeah, town. Exactly. Or, and like we we come from a city for like Fort Worth is. It's, I fucking love that I'm from Fort Worth anyway because mm-hmm. fuck Dallas. But I, I, <laughs> honestly, bro, fuck I, Dallas. I love. Hey, man. I love that I come from Fort Worth. Like I always like tell everybody like dude, I love living here. I love being around this area because honestly i i don't know any place else that you could do everything that absolutely you do. Yeah. there's no like, place like home bro. yeah dude like you you were just connected to everything by interstate which is fucking badass yeah. yeah everything is 30 to 40 minutes away maybe a fucking hour with traffic but even then like yeah. you're fucking close to everything the all the opportunity of job every, everything is here you know yeah, but like there's fun. people that come from like fucking bum fuck ass town and go to San Marcos and then they, they go to never school leave, they never want to leave because like if they go back to the little town like that's what happened to our friend oh my friend uh, Dakota you remember Dakota the, oh yeah, the uh, yeah I remember. She, that's the first thing she told me she's I'm never going home I'm like is why is she still over there in San Marcos she's still in San Marcos oh she's yeah. in Austin now awesome. but like yeah. again once you're there and you come from like a rancho bro because that's where yeah. she was from basically yeah. basically mm-hmm. an incredibly small town like there's nothing yeah. to do there bro like so you work just, at the gas station yeah that's the only job there or like, a fucking yeah. bills Damn, or impressive. a fucking yeah, yeah exactly and so she's like i'm not going home like i'm yeah. you, whether it's school or here or not yeah. you know aquí está la vida. yeah you know? which is understandable yeah. but we have the pleasure of having a city already yeah so like even if we come back city. home quote yeah. unquote Mm. There's still so much growth that we can have for yeah. sure, and yeah. I think it's professionally always, too. In mm-hmm. Fort Worth in general, like I just think it's it's a lot better because I nobody really fucks with you because everybody knows Dallas. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm like, okay, then fucking know Dallas, go over there, and then just keep us yeah. over here. Yeah. For real. And it's it's affordable. It's way more affordable than Dallas. You won't get stabbed as much. I mean, you might still shot. get stabbed. It's a more shot, but yeah. like, it's not as much as Dallas. That's for sure. You get twice, shot twice death. a week. I yeah. mean, twice a year. I'm sorry. Twice and we all week. been there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we all been there. And we're yeah. like, we've all nah. been in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I just, I, 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 like, I've been to Houston. I've been to Austin. I've been to San Antonio. Yeah. And it's just the vibe here. I've, I've always just, I've, I've really loved. Absolutely. Yeah. I wouldn't move anywhere else, man. I really wouldn't. I would. <laughs> yeah, I would too. too. Really? I, well, it's just yeah. because like uh, I also oh, no, aspire Col- to Colorado looks better. Yeah, Colorado's beautiful, bro. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's great. Bro, to I, look live, at, I live in the park yeah. of the homeless yeah, that's people. True, though. It's yeah. good to look and go. Yeah. But to stay, I mean, it's nah, a questionable thing. Fuck yeah. it, dude. The park right there with the homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> go in there, bro. Like, you got room for of, one more? They look kind of friendly, bro. Honestly, yeah. We were talking about stocks the other day. They're just vibing instead of They're a high as fuck. No, they were. <laughs> they're not friendly. No, nah, the, the other day I tried giving my dog, they're like, You got any Bitcoin? I'm like, What Bitcoin? the fuck? <laughs> you have a phone? <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro. Well, who doesn't have a phone? He's like, No, you know what's weird? Whenever homeless people are like, I got a square. I was like, What the fuck? What the oh, fuck? yeah. Like, what no, the yeah, fuck? That's, that's for sure, dude. Anytime that they tell me some shit like that, like, one time, one time, oh no. Yeah, one time I told them, like, I don't need any cash, bro. They're like, Yeah, you can sell me. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Fuck How do you have a bank account For real like, For real bro <laughs> You got no source of income Yeah bro. dude like, I needed one for my uh, For my COVID check <laughs> For my stimulus For a stimmy for Just real. sell me real quick yeah. like, Sell me real quick I'll find a phone somewhere And I'll just get the money <laughs> You got Venmo bro Or you got Cash App I got Cash App, Venmo, everything oh, bro Like fuck I don't know how they do that shit No but yeah man I, I just really uh, I enjoy this area Because it's kind of like A hidden gem And I really look at it like that Yeah Because yeah. it's you can you could stay here and just do your thing. And Only complaint is thirty five. Yeah, for real. But it, that's <laughs> all of Texas deals. With yeah, 35, all of to Texas. Be deals. 
I mean, yeah. it's yeah. better than like Houston, bro. Like, yeah. Houston, like Got Austin. Eight lanes and it's still Austin. Traffic. The only Austin's way to get through Austin ridiculous. is 35. Yeah. And it's only and it's, two lanes, right? Yeah. I think uh, so. I think no, it's, it's like it's bigger, but even then, it's, yeah. it's one highway, yeah. which is not good, you know? There's no just way to go around Austin. it. Yeah. 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 It's just Austin. Yeah. There's that tollway that goes around it, but you literally have to drive 30 minutes out and then yeah. hit the tollway. Yeah. And it's then everybody in San Antonio thinks they're the shit because they're like, they're all George Lopez's, bro. Like, yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> yeah. bro. Well, all, thank you. Everybody there is George Lopez. Yeah. Like, literally. And everybody says, says like the same joke, like, ah. Nah. Nah. Like some valley thing too. Nah. Like yeah, they're all the nah. same. Hey, bro. Uh, People what, from the valley are the same shit too, bro. Al Chile, bro. Al Chile. <laughs> fucking hate that shit. Like, what the fuck you mean, Mister? Like, Mister? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate that shit. Ah. 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 <laughs> I. I, I that's Put up PJ nine five six. Yeah. Yeah. So when I got to there and oh, like, met all these people, Nate, like, bro. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, man. That's all you have to say, bro. Just yeah. put up being Jim Five Nine, and then they're like, Nah, ah. man. I, and I realized, RGV. I realized too that like us growing up in this area, like I don't know if it's just me, but like we have a certain accent. Oh, I yeah. know we know. Like, yeah. like there are certain times where like I I hear the twang in my voice, <laughs> and I like that's what I mean. Like I'm not official, so like yeah, the only yeah. time yeah. I talk official is as, as a teacher. Obviously, I mean I'm addressing all these kids, mm-hmm. but then I really realize how much I use slang and how much I throw in like Spanish and. It's fucking hard yeah. to be. Yeah. It's hard so, being a Texican. It's, yeah. it's hard, like, just being official because, like, I, I have the accent. And then I, I only stutter when I'm trying to talk properly. Yeah. yeah. That's the that's only true, time. That's true. So, like, when I'm trying to get, like, kids to listen to me do this, so they're probably thinking, like, damn, Mr. fucking sucks at talking. I'm like, no, I just suck at talking to you guys. Yeah. yeah. Everybody else, like, I'm fine. Catch with anybody else, yeah. bro. <laughs> and I just, I, I talk with a certain twang, but it's just, I was I think that's everybody because I have like an accent too. But yeah, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I speaking Spanish. <laughs> I speak Spanish. I speak Spanish. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, again, thanks again, uh, Sammy, for coming on to our podcast. Man, it's been a pleasure. Good seeing you, man. It's been a long time since I've seen you. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I did. And I'm, uh, and, I, and I'm glad I reached out to you because I was like, I I gotta have a mom because I know it'll help connect like. Mm-hmm. More and more yeah. of us together, especially oh, yeah, like sure. kind of drive people your way and your and you know cross pollinate. Yeah, time, the but. the next time you invite me, you can uh, you can bring Victor. Yeah, and that way you but, can yeah. see. I'm telling you, dude, like he's so funny, man. Never like did. he uh, like I'll be talking and he'll come up with some shit, and I'm like, how? Why the fuck would, don't you don't you do this all the time? Like you know, but <laughs> it, but you just can't understand yeah. a little bit. But other than that, you're like, oh okay, but like, he's he's funny, man. He's you like, sound like that guy. Hey, Mister George. Mr. Mr. Uh, George, maybe a little bit. You know <laughs> how much you pay the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's got like he's got like his own like little vibe, but yeah. like you know, he's very shy. That's why like at first I was a little scared to put him on the pod, you know. Mm-hmm. But like he's very much like that, you know. But he's oh yeah he's yeah we'll guy. have one one day, bro. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure, bro. For sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, uh, I want to thank you guys for having me out. You know, of course, first time man. meeting Thanks you guys, but out. keep going with this pod, man. That's that's all it is, man. Just yeah, I appreciate you. Man. Uh, it's all consistency. Be yourself at the end of the day with all this kind of shit and. Hopefully we can do this again. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, you want to plug sure. anything in? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, just listen to Shadow Beans podcast. It's a podcast for for mariachis, but then also for like people like you guys. If you're Mexican American or Mexican, or you're just a person, you'll probably relate to us. <laughs> uh, but listen to it. See the behind the scenes of the working mariachi. Uh, available everywhere: YouTube, uh, Apple Podcast, Spotify. Just look it up, yeah. Chattel Beans. And also Chattel hire beans. Sammy as, as, uh, as a mariachi. Oh, yeah, yeah I guess bro. plug my mariachi. Mariachi yeah, in there. Yeah, we got to plug everything yeah. in. Yeah. Plug everything mariachi in, in there. You know, we play at all your events. Uh, I don't got a number, but I could give it to you guys. But like Mariachi in there, look us up on Facebook, yeah. YouTube, uh, Instagram. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. pretty sure I'll plug it in in the video. Yeah, I'll plug it in the video. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like yeah. right here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Cool, man. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, guys. I appreciate it. Of course, it. man. Yeah. It was nice having you, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, uh, again, thanks for listening, you guys. Uh, ch- check, us, check us out every Thursday again. Uh, <laughs> feel free to share us, share shit, our share clips. Shit. Bro, I'm trying, bro. <laughs> hey, I struggle with this, yeah. too, bro. <laughs> Just uh, yeah. uh, like our shit, man. Thank you again for all the uh, t- new TikTok followers, all our Instagram followers, <laughs> all our YouTube listeners. You know, we, we love you. Uh, keep sending us love and also, you know, send us questions like we always ask. Yeah. We're going to keep yeah. asking you to send you, uh, us questions and, you know, we're here to answer them. So, is there anyone saying? Nah, I just got to tell Bye, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peace out, guys. <laughs> All right. Later. Sass. I love so